April 20th. Just another day on the calendar? I think not. Not everyone associates 420 with smoking pot. Like the fans of Benny Hill, who died on 420 1999. Or the many people affected by the tragic events of Columbine on 420 1999. Our wrestling fans will probably remember the death of Rick Rude in 99. Or China in 2016. Both died on 420. But perhaps the most infamous of all heels was born on 420, Hitler. Look, we've done shows featuring pot before, and this ain't going to be one of them. This episode will deal with food, people, events, and oh yeah, wait, drugs. But not pot, I don't think. Anyway, I can't remember really what this episode's about, but my buzz is losing momentum. So Maestro, please pack that bong and I'll hit it as you hit that music. Welcome back to a very special post Game of Thrones episode of Needless to Say. I'm Brad, and I am here with Deaf Dick, Horace Bane, and my personal favorite, Dunson Shitmouth. <laughs> Every one of these are actual names from either the book or the it's show. It's the books. Okay. Yeah, that's going to be the books. What, you really don't know? Maybe you're just not as good of fans as you think. Stop. You are. <laughs> just, yeah, just stop. Don't you I would have went with Dick on Tolly. <laughs> but Dick on yeah. Tolly. They even laughed about it in the yeah, show. They even, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I, I looked at Dave instinctively when I heard shit mouth. <laughs> but I'm assuming there's a story that's going to line up with that yeah. shortly. <laughs> so let's see where the night takes us. What do you say? <laughs> <laughs> He's the town mulcher. <laughs> <laughs> Sir Davis the Fowl. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, so fuck Game of Thrones. How was your week, boys? <laughs> it was awesome, because Game of Thrones is on. No. Dun, 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 dun. All right, yep. like, uh, you've already polluted and like gave my computer a virus just by putting it in the outline. <laughs> Can we get to it later? I don't want to talk about Game of Thrones yeah. right now. <laughs> How was your week, Craig? It, it, it was funny. It, like I said, it started off, Game of Thrones was all fired up. Sunday night, watched it. It was yep. fucking great. Monday morning, woke up. I couldn't really sleep that well Monday night, so I woke up, I mean Sunday night, woke up Monday tired, went to work, just had a fucking miserable day. And went to went to bed, couldn't sleep, woke up Tuesday, had an even worse fuck. By Tuesday afternoon, I was ready to drive my truck and all its equipment right off a fucking cliff and just fucking start wandering around the woods with sandals on. Like, just give up on everything and fucking go away. <laughs> Because you don't have kids. Yeah. <laughs> but I get the feeling you and Manny have the same story now. Like, just wander the woods, like creating post holes yeah. everywhere. But it was funny, though. Big naked 10 walking it around. Sta- it started off great because Saturday big night. Big naked 10 walking around the forest. <laughs> Saturday night, we were hanging out. And Ron was here. We were having a good time. And Ron, some, I don't know, Ron got all mad at something. There was an argument. Oh, yeah, and Ron left. That. So to cheer him up, I sent him a picture of my balls. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah, it's it's amazing. Nice. That's cheering me up right now. <laughs> wow, I was surprised he didn't mention that. I was like, of course. Anyone. He ignored it and just started talking to me like it, what, like the picture wasn't there. I'm yeah. like, Ron, I know you As can usual. still see it. There's not enough text in the way yet. <laughs> and he's just like sending me shit immediately. <laughs> uh. But yeah, that was it. And I was just, we got better as it went on, though. So why didn't why weren't you sleeping? I don't know. I don't Too know. Too amped up over the season premiere. Yeah, I think that's what it was. I think that's what it <laughs> you was. I was just dying to give somebody a picture of his balls. And <laughs> yeah. it's been too long. Yeah, like your week was never going to top that moment. Yeah. <laughs> that's where it peaked. But I mean, other than that, the I rest hope of the that week didn't went make fine. Ron peak. Yeah. <laughs> Can that still happen? Yeah. <laughs> too much. <laughs> Mike, how was your way? Oh, actually, um, what's that in your hand, Mike? 
what? What are you talking Is about? Is that it? No, no, I, no I realized. I've discovered that. You need to stop fucking making commitments on this show. Oh, beer, like, you on mean? Air. It's, oh, the beer, you mean? Yeah. Uh, yeah, well, well. Everything. That fell apart uh, the next day. <laughs> <laughs> that fell all apart right. about eight hours after we walked out of this Yeah, house. exactly. Yeah. And that's only that's because true. we all went to sleep. You probably started drinking the I, instant our taillights were over. No, the no. <laughs> I drank coffee all night. It was yeah. the next day that was Yeah, that the I next did. day at last. 12 0 run. But no. I did quit. I quit freaking Moonshine. I will never drink that shit again. Which Trust was not me. the deal. That, no, yeah, that was, was, it, was it, not it, the it, deal. It you were going to give up. It wasn't. Alcohol. Alcohol. I'm altering and, the and deal. Weed. Yep. I'm, yeah, I know. Okay. You smoked weed before the show last week where you quit <laughs> alcohol. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm trying, man. I'm trying. Yep. How have you been married this long? One step at a time. Your commitment level is just awful. Yes. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> yeah. One step at a time. But I was the rest of your week. I love beer, man. It was good. It was pretty good. Work's going good. I love the great weather coming up finally. Yeah. Yeah. Gonna hate cutting my grass those two when? times, those two yeah. times a year. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I hated shoveling all that snow. Yeah, <laughs> that one time. I'm gonna hate but, uh, watching my neighbors cut their grass. <laughs> <laughs> is what you should have said. <laughs> gonna celebrate they, they all do it because they're pissed about you shitting all over the property value in the neighborhood. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but I, I know. just love that you, you know you. Cut your grass longer than you quit alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it takes me longer to cut my grass than it did to quit when I quit alcohol. Well, maybe don't let it grow to the point where you can braid it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's stylish. You just need to have your father bring a fucking goat over and yeah, just leave it. Yeah, a couple yes. of them, man. I'm telling you. He's got hundreds of rabbits, so I can just cage everything off. And just I'll make the neighbors there. happy. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, I got rabbits never right next door. I got a bunch of them. See that? But uh, 420, Saturday, going to celebrate that like every other day at 420. <laughs> <laughs> Again, commitment. Yeah. <laughs> committed, committed He's to committed something. He's committed to something, just the wrong something. Committed somewhere. Right. But fucking, also, getting old, my friends, next week. Yep. I'll be 48. 48 God, years old, you old fucker. I you know. really shouldn't reveal your age on this show. Everybody in the show thought you were like 29. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like, like, like out of shame. Right. Like, wait a minute, right. he's forty eight. <laughs> Shouldn't he have a clue by now? Yeah, <laughs> no, <laughs> hell no. Fucking <laughs> clues are boring. <laughs> he doesn't look a day over the pens. <laughs> Brad, how about you? Well, you had a big week. I did. I had a big you start to the week. You man. did. I I gotta say, I've been to a lot of these quote-unquote metal festivals and they're usually basically just a shitty club that booked too many bands and there's not enough beer and there's not enough ventilation and they oversold it yeah and it's always the way it is this is the first true festival i've been to since the heyday of Ozfest, where every band was really good i mean you know there were some i like more than others but honestly the sound was pristine the the venue was appropriate it was spotless there was good flow in and out of the place there were no fights nobody got stupid drunk yeah. It was honestly the best two-day concert I've ever been to in my life. So it was all people your age there. Then. It was a lot. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I wasn't near the top, I'll tell you that. Yeah. You know, there was a lot of old school bands there. Yeah. But there, there were a lot of kids there, too. Really? Harmonious. They, you know, they keep saying that metal people are the happiest people. There's yeah. like studies being done on this. Metal fans are actually the happiest people in the world. Everybody was chill. That's funny, man. That you, that, that you say that because remember during Comic Con we thought about like the, the different uh, crowds and shit. If it was like a metal crowd, how much different it might be. Yeah, it might be a lot more rowdy. I don't think the that's the case anymore. People they kind of just want to be left alone. I was worried with the mixture of heat, length, you yeah, know, like the, the time we were in there, and, and then beer. The, the beer because this was my one and only regret. I had the option for thirty extra dollars per ticket. Now my buddy doesn't drink, so it wasn't a big deal. And Solomon, I, I promised you a shout out. Thank you for an amazing two days. But I could have spent thirty bucks for a little shot glass type thing of beer, but it was unlimited pours, and there were thirty one breweries there. Yeah. By the way, none of the ones I mentioned last week were there. <laughs> really? <laughs> no, that, that's neither here nor there. There, there was, was no some... Jenny Creamy Discharge Ale. No. <laughs> Not on tap. It's slowly more... dripping out of a drain somewhere. More of a can thing. Oh, more gotcha. of a can. You need yeah. that specially lined can. <laughs> and then nah. it, it sheds its lining. <laughs> <laughs> now, how big was the glass that you that It was you probably could have four done. ounces. All it was right. probably a quarter pint, but the, it was yours to keep. It had the the like the logo on it. Sure. Yeah. And okay. you can go around to all these places and they were supposed to be checking you off. 
like that you had a bracelet and they would have looked at your bracelet and said, okay, there's the number. And it was supposed to go into a computer database. So you didn't overdo it. Yeah. Nobody was doing this. They were just pouring beer. I spent $150 on cans of beer over the course of two days. Wow. That's Damn. a lot of beer. Yeah. Okay. And it was good beer. I was buying good beer. But the point is I could have done it for 30 bucks, tried a lot of new things. I ended up buying t-shirts from the breweries, nothing from the bands. I bought a koozie from a band. Yeah. There were no t-shirts I had to have. I have enough indecipherable logos in my, my dresser. <laughs> but I got some really cool ones. And there was my favorite shirt of all time. It just says craft beer and death metal. <laughs> nice. And on the back, it had the, the, the brewery's logo done in indecipherable logo. Oh, really? It was really, really well done. <laughs> uh, I had a great time. I got to throw a shout out to Deceased, like we always yep. do on here. They put on a great set. I do worry that King might have upset somebody. <laughs> Why is that? the course of two days. Nobody had a, one nary a sound problem. Nary. <laughs> <laughs> King couldn't quite get his mic right, and it wasn't him. Yeah. He was having a problem with the PA, and he kept calling for it to turn up. He couldn't hear himself. That said, they fought through. These guys are road warriors, and yeah. it was an absolutely flawless set. They played two new songs. We got a quick tribute to Scarface. Nice. And they made the most of their 40 minutes. I mean, considering they have 35 years of history to dig wow. back into. They did it, and they did it well, and they played my favorite song of theirs, Morbid Shape in Black. Uh, you know, I couldn't awesome. have been happier. Um, also, X Order, I just want to throw a shout-out. You don't know them, but you should. If you've ever heard Pantera and liked it, guess who invented it? It wasn't them. Yeah. X Order did it. They reunited. They got a new album coming out. That was a huge win. And the guys that came out wearing cloaks and backlighting, fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got also, all in the singer from Deaf Heaven. This guy was doing ballet pirouette. The drummer had roses, white roses all over his drum kit. And I've never seen a room clear out faster. I swear, like dropping a bottle of plague in the middle of the room. <laughs> <laughs> like the Joker in the old Batman story where it just fog up and green. Yeah. Like if you drop that in the middle of this floor, it would not have been any faster than the, the instant wow. these guys hit did you get, um Did you get any pictures for the, for the page? I there? did. I got me with obituary. And yep. I got me with the guy from X Hoarder, and then I got a bump that King recorded for us from Deceased. Yeah, awesome. yeah. So we, we, it was a phenomenal two days. I know I'm already boring. I did learn a couple of things. Metal guys still fucking smell, even if they're well behaved. <laughs> 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 and my buddy Solomon, at the tender age of 50, got into his first mosh pit in 20 years. Mosh pits are ridiculous. Yeah. If you're over the age of 25 and you're in a mosh there's, pit, you're wrong. Yeah, there's that's no need for it. Yeah, yeah, 25 is pushing it. That's kind of a, like a flat brim cap kind of douche thing. Yeah. <laughs> but the, watching my buddy's face, he hadn't seen the obituary is his favorite band since the beginning of time. And watching him do that in front of his favorite band, I, I've never been happier. It's like he yeah. was 20 again. He's like he right was back. having a yeah, blast. Yeah, he's awesome. Oh, that's awesome. Man. Having a blast. So that was it. So uh, was it tough for you to wheel him around in the mosh pit? No, it was surprising. <laughs> he was actually, I needed to go sit at one point because I yeah. was tired. I would, you know, I was doing that cross arm guy in the back thing, you know, trying to look like I'm just into the music and all that. And I really couldn't wait to get the fuck out of there. I was tired. <laughs> yeah. Seven hours of played straight up death metal. It gets to be a bit much. Yeah. So it, it was fine. I, I had a blast with him, and that was the important thing. Uh, now I'm going to New York this coming week, maybe for the last time. We don't know yet. Yeah. By the time this airs, we'll know. We'll know. Yeah. We'll know. And then if you see this episode posted with my resume. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, know. So that was a really long week in review. I'm sorry, guys, but thanks for asking. Sure, it's cool, so we're going to have to have Christy set up a needless to say resume page as well as a rundown page. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I, I mean, her job hunt's going swimmingly from what I can gather. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's got a crusty old guy who sounds like he was ripped right out of an '80s movie. <laughs> no doubt, man. Like who? What, what ripped torn in summer school? Oh, oh my God. yeah. That's basically what I pictured when she described that one customer that just won't tip her and just teases her with the money, like yeah. pulls it back and pull, what a douche nozzle. I really think she should hit him with an oar. I said yeah. it on there. I think that would be a great <laughs> <saw> answer. That. <laughs> yeah. It's fucking funny. Yeah, anyway, that's fucking so, nuts. Dave, I'm so sorry I cut into your time. We were no, trying to keep the time down. <laughs> Why? Nah, nah, we're good. Yeah, we're good. Dave. Watch this. No, Say your yeah, timer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Say your timer right now. How was your week, Dave? It was good, man. The uh, uh, My older kids came back from Disney. They still, they still love like Daddy. you? Yeah. Fuck you guys. Yeah. <laughs> at the same uh, amount? Same amount? As, yeah, the as, far, as far as I can tell, honest, right, cool. I, I picked them up the, the day after they came home, and it was like business as usual. 
Which made me feel better. I was like, all right, yeah. they didn't come back like fucking hating me. <laughs> you dickheads didn't help at all last week. <laughs> <laughs> he was having hey, nightmares. Was <laughs> listening, back to the, li- listening back to the episode, I'm fucking I laughing. I'm like, we too, totally dude. fucking just like, we just stri- all week long, it was like, the kids are in Florida. Uh, having yeah. a blast. You know, Melissa, to- big time. Melissa told me I was too rough on him. No. And no, I no. said, wait a minute. If you listen back to every episode since Dave joined, he had like no ramp up time. He just jumped right in oh, and yeah, started guaranteed. picking on us. Including, I mean, he like he knows you guys a while. I like Dave yeah. and I are relatively recent friends, and he just needles me. Oh, I was yeah. monotone for a while. Remember? Yeah, that? yeah he'll kick yeah, in no his problem. shins just for a while. You know, so but you know what? <laughs> <laughs> Wrong. Fuck you. You're a fat liar. <laughs> <laughs> Mike's a fat liar. Craig's got an ugly neck. And, yeah. and Dave, you're a terrible, terrible parent. Yeah. 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 Hey, I just raw dogged this show. I didn't care. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, so, so there's a funny story that comes with them coming home from Disney. Now, I've told you guys before, my, my oldest has subtly hinted that, that my wife and I have a drinking problem. Yeah. Right? She drew us the pictures. She knitted me a koozie. Yeah. My son comes back. They got they got my the, the baby a gift, you know, a little baby gift. And nice. They got something for Rand and I. And my buddy my son, he, he's like he's like, it's glass. Be careful. I was like, oh no. It's a, I could see it in the bag. It was like in the tissue paper rolled up. It was a beer yeah. mug. It was a shot glass. Oh, oh, nice. He's like, so he's like, he's like, Daddy, you have so many of these. I thought you want. <laughs> <laughs> Always room for one. This more is thing. why Daddy can't take you to right. Disney World. But kids. he called, he called <laughs> it, a, right? he called it a cup. He's like, I got you a new cup. You've got so many because we have our bar in the kitchen, and it's just the pint glasses and shot glasses. And, yeah, but the best part is he picked out one that has my favorite color and Ray's favorite color. It's, it's orange and fades into green. Wow, that's it was, cool, man. But yeah, so, it, but I said to her, "I'm like, we have a problem." <laughs> you know, they get it at the head shop just outside Orlando. I said, yeah, not, <laughs> I'm not sure. But all I get, like, part of my brain was like. He's picking out a shot glass for me, and my ex and her family are like that motherfucker. I knew yeah, it. That, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Like, oh, that's what he wants. Huh? Yeah. Oh, he's got a bunch of those. Yep, Does yep. He? Oh, Does yeah. he really? Oh, Daddy yeah. drinks four hundred and ninety of these a day to, <laughs> yeah. get his, to get his daily requirement of water. He's awesome. You should see yeah. him. He could drink like twenty of them. Nothing even happens. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing even happens. Sometimes he sleeps right after. Uh, yeah, I wish he just took sleeping pills. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, that was that was I guess the the low point and the highlight of my week was they came home and I was still daddy and the low point they know that I have a drinking problem. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it, whatever. Uh, That's I sh- cool though. I should also note that la- this last week uh, uh, Ray and I had our wedding anniversary. Um, so we did that stuff. We went out to dinner and, and we're sitting at dinner and I keep glancing over Ray's shoulder. She's like, "What the fuck is going on behind me?" I'm like, "All right, you can't turn around, but there's a guy behind you over your right." That looks like Ray Liotta. She's like, "What?" I'm like, "But not real Ray Liotta. <laughs> like, if Ray Liotta was a bike tire you deflated and left outside in the snow all winter, <laughs> yeah, and then blew him much. back up, like he was all cracked and beat <laughs> up and shit." Pretty I can imagine after three years of marriage, you did that description, and Ray was like, "Oh, that Ray Liotta." Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she said. She said. She said that the Ray Liotta that got that got. Uh, fired by an animated turkey. I was like, "That's the one." Yes, yeah. that's the one. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but I, I want at the same dinner. I wanted to ask you guys as we were finishing. The food was phenomenal where we went. Um, the service was it was average. Yeah. It was yeah. busy, right? But um, as the waiter hands us the the bill, he says, "You know, thank you guys for coming. I appreciate it. If you feel like you know you were going to give a tip, could you do it in cash?" And then he walked away, and I thought, "Really? That was kind of rude." Yeah. No yeah. Doubt. I didn't like that. Like it no. took me. Like, it took I would have been, been, been like, "Nope, not <laughs> happening." I said, "Well, we actually debated. We sat there for five minutes and debated. Should we just write cash then leave nothing? <laughs> like fuck him. Yeah, <laughs> just write cash where it says tip and then just leave. Yep. Split. Yeah. Like that was. I'm curious. Like, I've never been in the service industry. I didn't know what the motivation was. You guys have any idea? I, maybe, maybe. No. I mean. I kind of get the idea. Maybe you wanted to just pocket it and nah, not claim that's it. No, not but what it was. It, chances but, are that when you sign the tip on the slip, that goes back to the credit card. Yeah. And then they yeah. get so it. So something get. was broken on there. Exactly. And what you do is you come to the table and say, hey, guys, we're having some issues with our credit card machine. You can make the regular payment. 
Okay, so don't worry about that. But anything else on top of that probably won't be processed. That is a subtle way of saying yes. You can, can you give me a tip? Yes. 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 Yeah. yeah, but to say it like that, I would have been like, yeah. nope. I would have wrote it out. On, it it I was just that blunt. Out. That was the thing. Yeah. That's what kind of caught me. I get wary with waiters because they still make waiter pay. They're making more than they used to. But waiters and bartenders no, make I, like I, four I, bucks an they hour. They don't. No, and, I've also and heard that's why I never. I don't tip. Like people say, fifteen percent is the like the. I always tip more than that. Yeah, you know because. That's the way they make their living, and if the service is good, I'm going. It's going to reflect in yeah. in in that, you know. And even if I get service, I'm like, ah, eh, it wasn't that great. I'm still going to tip more than fifteen percent. No, I'll give and, them the base if they're bad. Know, I'll well, if it's bad purposely, like if, you can yeah. tell the person. Just, sometimes you can tell there's just shit going on. Right, they're busy. Like they're yeah, busy. Yeah, yeah, there's yeah. shit going on. I'm still going to tip them normal. But you can also tell if they're just an asshole. Yeah, you can yeah. tell if they're recently yeah, in a restaurant in Bristol, a Mexican joint, right on. Um, on uh, Gooding Avenue, I went over there and I had a rude waitress. Like she was awful. So on the tip line, I said, "Ask your ask your manager who I'll be calling right after this." No wow. shit. Wow, you're that yeah. nice. How was the food there? I've never been pushed like this. Wow, that wow. bad. Huh? The food was excellent. I love this restaurant. Yeah. We haven't seen her since, and I, there's probably a good reason. Yeah. Yeah. she's not good at her job. No. Thank you. <laughs> I was doing her a favor, to be honest with you. Yeah. She needed to get the fuck out of that industry, and she yeah. needed to get into whatever it is you know my boss does. Well, I had a, I had a, I had a, I had a waitress one time. I had gone. Me and Rob, we go to uh, Luke's Sam, which is a local uh, Chinese place, very popular around here. Free yeah, advertising. Yeah, so we go there, and um, you know, we're having some drinks, and we're chow, you know, chowing a bunch of food. And it was getting, I guess this woman was leaving early off her shift because they weren't closing for another hour or so. Mm-hmm. So we're having a drink. So she comes over and gives us the check. And I'm like, well, we're still eating. And I was like, we're actually going to have another couple of drinks. Yeah. And she's like, oh, all right. And she walks away. So I'm like, that was weird. But I'm like, all right, whatever. You know, maybe she heard something and thought we were trying to leave or whatever, you know, whatever. She comes back about five minutes later and she's like, Hey, um, I have to I'm getting off early tonight, so can you can you give me my tip now? What? <laughs> wow. So I, I was like, well, I mean, you know, at first I'm kinda like, Well, we're still we're still eating. I don't have oh no, I'll I'll give you the bill. I'm like, but we still want to have another drink. I'm like, am I gonna have to start a separate bill now? And so and she got huffy with me. No shit. So I was like, Check listen. Check out her resume. I bet there's a Mexican restaurant. <laughs> yeah. No. So I said to her, I said to her, I said, no, we're going to have one more drink. I said, you want to get that, actually? I said, we're going to have one more drink. She fucking storms off. She comes back. She puts the drinks down, right? She's probably spitting them, whatever. Guarantees but, she did. <laughs> but uh, she puts the drinks down. Then she puts her coat and she puts her coat on and she's got her purse and she's literally in the booth behind us leaning against it just watching us no Get shit out of here. so i yeah so i'm looking at Rob, rob's like kid we should go i'm like are you out of your fucking mind <laughs> she's not winning I'm like she's not getting I'm out like, of work no early. fucking way <laughs> uh, yeah yep. i'm stuck i'm sipping my drink sip, and i'm like want to have another one and rob starts getting fucked up you know yeah, you know how rob yeah, is yeah, rob's yeah. a kid we should just go we should just go and so i'm like all right kid i'm like God, i'm like fine whatever I said, go pay. I give him the money. I said, go pay the bill thing. I'm going to leave her the tip. <laughs> oh my Rob's God. Rob's like, no, kid, don't. I'm like, kid, d- <laughs> just Rob, go. You already do. Yeah. It's a so, picture of your dick. Yeah. No. no. So, <laughs> so I get up and I, and I looked right at her and I said, we're, we're leaving now. And she gets up like, oh. And I went, here's your tip. And I put a fucking nickel on the table. <laughs> and I fucking walked away. What a dick. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> what a dick. Nice. No, I'm glad you yeah. did that. Yeah. I put a nickel right down. That's I said, here's your rude. fucking tip. Listen, yeah. they all have computers now. Unless they're still using like one of those pull handle fucking <laughs> cash registers. Yeah. Which they're not. Nope. Okay, everything is attributed to a number. Every server's got a number. If you leave a tip on the check, it's going to go it's to her. It's going to go yeah. to her. Even if... The next waitress comes over yeah. and finishes taking care of us. That tip's still going to no, go. No, but she's got a balloon but, of meth. She's got to get two nights. That's what it is. Yeah. Before she gets home to her nine kids yeah. in that one bed. Yeah, I was fucking furious. I was so mad. Yeah. And See, I now think- I've, I've been at bars, like sitting at the bar when the shift changes and the bartender's be like, hey, I'm, my shift ends in like an hour or so. I'm probably going to have to cash you out. Someone else will pick you up or, or whatever. Yeah. And my buddies and I, wherever, we'll say, All right, that's fine. 
Like, because I, I get that. Explain like, she, yeah. yeah. Rather than just leave the tab open and that other bartender get her tips or whatever. But they won't. Again, and it's all a trip. It's always going to go. Yeah. If I'm sitting up at a bar, I lo- I'll leave cash for tips. Yeah, I do. Same like, so, so yeah. if yeah. I know Unless someone's. Unless I'm using a credit card because I don't have right. cash. Yeah, if I know yeah. the ship's ending, yeah. I'll be like, hey, why don't you cash me out? I know you're out. Tip them out, then I'll start a new tab with the next bar. Yeah, yeah, totally different. But that's, that's fucking. That yeah, yeah. I've, I've done it a thousand times. You see the bartenders getting ready to switch sh- shifts. I'm you sitting know there when they're and done. I'll go. I'll, you see them cashing out their drawer or something. Yeah. And they'll come over as they walk by. I'm like, hey, yeah, mm-hmm. and throw them into like that. That's for you. Yeah, because then now I'll work on the next bot. You know, now the next bond bartender. Also, if I have right. another couple of drinks, I'll leave them a tip right. too. Yeah. But. It's like, what the fuck? You're going to stare at me? Yeah. <laughs> stare me down while I'm trying to finish a meal and, and have a drink? I was freaking pissed. It's, you know what? Leaving a nickel is better than leaving nothing. Yeah, that's why it's I so, did it. It makes such a more poignant point. It's Rob like, was oh. already in the parking lot. He was like, <laughs> he, took, sure he, was. he knew it was going to happen. <laughs> he sure. knew something like that was going to go down. He took right off. He's like, he's, he's not like that. He's like well, very... Uh, Non-confrontational. He doesn't like that stuff. <laughs> uh, and he's like, "Kid, don't, please, don't, don't. Come on, come on. I'll, just, I'll leave it. I'm like, no, go outside. Hey. Go, go pay the bill. <laughs> I got this. When you go to work, I get, I'm as sympathetic to the service industry as anybody. Mm-hmm. But when you go to work and, and you lay flooring, okay, if you do a shit job, they call you on it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. If you do a shit job training somebody, you get called on. Oh yeah. Mike, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I get called on it all the time. That's why next week in New York might be my last. <laughs> and I think what's happening is that the service industry is assuming tips. It's supposed to be above yeah. and beyond. And I do think they need to raise the base pay of what the service industry. No, they makes. do. Yeah, they do. They, they need do to make need a living to make wage a living. on their own, and that way, really good. Like the the purpose of a tip is meant to reward above. The, the right. call of duty. I get, beyond. T- I get yeah. tips, you know, sometimes sure. we get done. Actually, I got a, a big tip. We got a hundred dollar tip day before yesterday, 50 bucks a piece. Nice. On Thursday, you know, but we we're at the house. It was an old, it was an old lady. And I did shit that like she, you know, she was worried because we were going to have to unhook her gas stove, but we won't hook them back up. She's going to get a plumber for that. Yeah. There was enough slack in the thing. I installed the floor right around. We moved the stove right around the whole thing. Oh, cool. I didn't want the lady to have to go through that. You know what I mean? And it was probably cheaper for her to tip us the hundred dollars yeah. than to have a plumber come and hook it back up. You know, <laughs> in related news, so, an apartment fire killed an old woman. Yeah. Last week. <laughs> yeah. The linoleum's <laughs> intact, though. Yeah. All the neighbors just heard, why? Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, things like that. I'll do stuff like that because it's a pain in the ass for the customer. Mm-hmm. And if mm-hmm. they're not, if they're being nice, they're going to be nice back. If Absolutely. I can do something, yeah. fuck it. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. it worked out. All right. I'm so <laughs> glad we stuck to this promise of not overdoing the weekend review. I know, yeah, right. right? No, we actually better than last week. We're only 26 minutes in. Oh, only. <laughs> 26 minutes to say Brad went to a concert he shouldn't have. Yeah. <laughs> Dave's exactly. kids still love him, and Craig sent a nut picture. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, how was work this week? Real quick. It was great. Yeah. <laughs> it was. Yeah, because you didn't go. Yeah, I did. When? He worked, worked yesterday worked, yeah, for like three hours. I worked Tuesday. Yeah. Work. Guy, he sent me a video. He sent a video throwing that Lincoln Park CD into the, <laughs> into into the, the trash. Into the du- yeah. yeah I, I just don't open your videos anymore. I don't like viruses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was, I was going to say going there on your day off to buy shit you didn't throw away the day before doesn't count as going to work. <laughs> Mike spent most of Friday piecing together a Lincoln Park CD. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds better. <laughs> so there was some big news this week. A little bit, yeah. yeah. It, it, it was actual news. Actual news. Actual news, yeah. was in Paris, France. What no, happened, Craig? Notre Dame Cathedral. Do you really need to say what happened? We're well, not breaking news show. No, no. <laughs> hey, Notre, Notre Dame Cathedral caught on fire. It didn't burn down. No. It caught on fire. Well, it, it did more than catch on fire. This wasn't a microwave gun awry. No, no. <laughs> it, 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 it had, it, they had a no fire at, at Notre Dame. It yeah. did some damage. It didn't yeah. burn it down to the ground. No. Seeing how fucking ninety five percent of it is fucking stone. It's, it's been under construction for a hundred <laughs> years anyway. Yeah, yeah. but the, the, I think the big thing was to build. It, visually it was it was a spectacle, right? Yeah. And then the big spire there that's iconic toppled, toppled over. over. That was oh, Craig. Yeah. Why don't you read the headline? Uh, Notre Dame nearly blows eight hundred and fifty year winning streak, but gets key comeback in overtime. <laughs> 
best, best headline ever. I yeah. gotta credit his Brad. For, his first for chance of the night. Yeah. That was thanks, Brad's headline. Thanks, Brad. Full transparency. We had a bit of an argument in our group chat. <laughs> yeah, which we, we did. don't usually do. We just say, "Hey, cool kid, good idea. Save it for Friday. Yep. Save it for Friday." Yep, yep. But we kind of got a little animated about this topic. We well, have some yeah. very different views. And if you've listened to the show long enough, you know who had the differing view. Yes. <laughs> but that's okay. I'm not actually making fun of him for this. I, you know, no, you believe no, what you I believe. It. And it's dividing it. the world keep, right now. You know? And if we're nothing, if not a show that tries to unify people. And this, yeah. <laughs> when things this, go, go along too smoothly, I'm sorry. I got to fucking do something about Amen, it. Amen, bro. But, you know? But my just, thing was, because it, cause it caught on fire, within 24 hours, they raised $700 million. Now, today, nice. the day Friday we're recording, it's been less than a week. Yeah. They're over a billion dollars. Now, they weren't out soliciting either. No. These are just volunteers just that came Voluntar- forward. Yeah. Voluntarily came forward and said, here's millions and millions of dollars. I have enough. Take this. Take this. Now, <laughs> disgusting it's, look it's on his face. O- over a bill- it's well over a billion now, which, okay. When Buckingham Palace, bur- they a whole wing burned off of the fucking place. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> it cost fifty-five million dollars to repair it. Yeah. Now that place is a dump, though. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I think it was the Queen making a toaster strudel. She's yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, but my thing is, muffins. and that place has, I mean, I I don't want to say it's good. Well, it does. It's got just as much history, you know. It's but yes, this is a religious icon. And it's just the building itself, historically, to me, is incredible. Whether I'm absolutely whether I'm re- religious or not, it's 850 years old, and you could walk inside of it today. Well, not today, but unless <laughs> 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 you're a forensic fire specialist, yeah. that's about the. But only you could go inside of it and and look at it, and it's incredible, yeah. unbelievable craft craftsmanship from the Middle Ages. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Um, that to me is incredible and well worth it needing to be restored. I yes. think it does need to be restored. It's not going to cost fucking a it's, billion dollars. No, though. they're going to gonna have plenty of money left over yeah. when you it's You think they're done. giving it back? No, no. And that's what I said. They could have took the money out of their priest relocation fund <laughs> to fucking to fund the fucking rebuilding of this fucking spire, I'm sure. But... This this oh there oh it's go. Good Friday by the way yeah <laughs> oh shit <laughs> no all right so but, that money's gonna go to the Neil and Bob Foundation yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but my thing is it's not it's not that it's I get it you know people want to donate to it I get it it's the, and I'm yeah. fine with that and it needs to be re- I if I don't say it shouldn't be rebuilt of course it should but it's just ridiculous to me that there's fucking people starving in the streets. In France. In France. There's people starving in the streets. There's people fucking with no fucking roof over their head. Mm -hmm. And you can't, you know, if you threw a fundraiser for a fucking month-long fundraiser, you wouldn't come close to fucking $700 million. No no way. I I appreciate that, you know, this is not just the church. This is everybody getting behind a symbol. It's the people, and, really. And the, but the people get donating. behind symbols more than they That's, get behind other people. Yeah. We don't donate. We, you know, it used to be you give a buck to a guy on the street. Now our cynical asses, all we say is, no, he's going to use it for drugs. Yeah. You don't, you, we're told not to do that now. Cops will actually penalize you for, in New York for or giving any a major city yeah. yeah. for handing somebody cash. They say, buy him food. And they say, do that instead. Yeah. And you know, who's yeah. got time for that? But if you're walking along, you give the guy a buck, it's no longer... F- because we're all too cynical. Yeah. But yet, behind a symbol, we're all ready to just open our pockets. And open. This- Flint, Michigan has been drinking brown fucking chocolate milk for four fucking years. <laughs> yeah. 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 This yeah. This Puerto Rico yeah, had a massive hurricane almost two years ago and it's still not rebuilt. And still not and rebuilt. And that's part of the United States mm-hmm. of America. Yes. Regardless of what our president thinks, it's part of the yeah. United States of America. <laughs> it is. Okay, homeless vets, which I will Ho- get behind for the yep. rest of my goddamn yeah. life. Yes. Of course. Okay, exactly. This is why we have this money. This is why we have the freedom to spend it the way we yes. want to. But I, and they're still hungry in and our that, own streets. Yeah. And yet we want to blow money. Getting because shitty fucking... But I mean... How medical mu- treatment. Uh, how much of that money was donated by French people, though, I, and how much by the United States? Not that it matters. Well, but no, it doesn't. That's it doesn't, matter, it doesn't matter because I'm sure there's French vets 
fucking yep. oh, yeah. hobbling around with fucking one leg in the street, fucking doesn't have anything to eat. Not really. The berets are crooked. It's fucking tragic. fighting for themselves in fucking how many years? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but our priorities are fucked. It, yeah, that's, yeah. Exactly. That's, I think that's what crazy. As is. humans, it's, it's, priorities. It's, it's priorities are fucked up. As humans, our priorities to the, are to fucked the point. Up. How about the fact that that one guy who was the uh, he ran back into the, the priest. building. The priest ran yeah. into the building, but he's he was like the fire brigade fucking chief of the fucking thing. Yeah, ran into the building while it was roaring flames to save the relic, the crown and, of thorns. Yeah. And I'm like the crown of thorns, and I'm like. That's not the real crown of thorns. No, <laughs> you, <laughs> you they're all, yeah, that, they're all symbols you, of hope. You, you That's ran what it is, you know? to, to save a symbol. Well, let's get a That's counter. What it is. Let's get well, a counter yeah. because we had, we we already told everybody we had an argument, and it wasn't like an argument, but it was a heated discussion. Mike, we know that you're a much bigger believer than the rest I of us mean, at this table. Yeah. So give us the counterpoint of why you think this is more yeah, important. Than believer, I'm believer, and and one who practices are two different things. I do believe. I don't fucking go to church. My wife knows it be- better than to ask me anymore. Yeah, yeah, I don't go to church either, but we we still have different yeah. perspectives on this topic. Yeah, so I mean, it. it's not it's not. So, I don't think it's so much the relics; it's the 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 what they rep- represent, and that's well, yeah. basically what it is. And another another thing is too those, those rich people they can't look up into the sky and see the spire anymore, so that's why they got to donate. They they don't look up in the sky and see homeless people or this or that. No, so they I, don't they don't pay attention. Well, out of sight, I, out people of mind. pay attention to be right. a problem. Yeah, no, that's, it is. That's, 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 that's exactly what I'm saying. That's a, that's a good point. Yeah. No, and it's, it's true. Prestigious and in this and that and look at us. We have this and now it's gone but and my, that's wrong. That's wrong for them to donate for my, something. My like whole that, thing, you know, for that reason is, and I said this for one thing, it's a symbol, right? In a religion that's not supposed to have symbols, right? Exactly. <laughs> right. Not, well, actually, not, actually, right? but it's a house of worship is but, what it really uh, is. Yeah. But an extravagant fucking an, an unneeded extravagant. Well, fucking, it's not. It was built eight hundred and fifty right. years ago, You're and it's been maintained by the church. It's fine. It's not a parish, it's, though. It's not a practicing church. You can no, come right. in, light a candle, not, and yeah, a priest no. come in and take your confession, but it's not a practicing no, not anymore, church. No. It's a museum. It's a right. museum, yeah. And, and, you know, again, it's I mean, house of relics. there's a lot of history and a lot of relics in a lot of places. Yeah. I, I just think the fact that people want to spend their money so readily on this when we've been fighting tooth and nail to get Puerto Rico repaired. Yeah. And to get everybody off the streets and to start or at least trying. Well, that was my biggest point is what, what I was getting at was Jesus, right? Oh, <laughs> sure, on Good Friday, go. is looking down, going, "What the fuck are you people doing?" <laughs> what talk, the fuck well, is wrong with you? Are you talking about no, us four? everybody. I know that's every that Friday. Too. No, uh, everybody. That's a, do you think? For one thing, Jesus has been like, "Dude, don't run in there for the fake crown of thorns." <laughs> He's <laughs> Just been saying that. Go. Don't kill you. Don't get yourself killed for that. Don't you know? spend two hundred years and, building a church like he and, preached on a rock or a street or yeah, yeah. beach. And, do it in your own house. Yeah. You know, he no, took two but, fish and a loaf of bread and fed multitudes. He didn't take two fish, a loaf of bread, and build a Chili's. Okay? <laughs> yeah. it's, it's not about the house. It, it's, it's about right. the exactly. belief. And, you know, we talked about that stupid movie, Stigmata. It was a terrible movie. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's got a, uh, what's her name, an Arquette in it. it yeah. That's, that's Patricia Arquette. Arquette. Yeah, it's, yeah. A, yeah. it's a garbage movie, but... The end of she the tries movie, to bite that priest with her snaggle tooth. She's like... Hark. But the end of the movie is good, <laughs> because the end of the movie talks about the fact that there are lost prophecies of Jesus Christ about not worshiping me, worshiping me in buildings that would actually kill the business of the Catholic Church, which is slightly bigger than Microsoft. Yeah. So let's think long and hard about where we're really putting our money. I genuinely do believe that the church has enough money to rebuild this if it's that important to them. By, if far. They could, by far. Now, they, what? Now the real test is going to be what the fuck they're going to do with the rest of this fucking money. Oh, no. It, and it's who's going to be lawyers. accountable for it? You yeah. know what I'm saying? Well, it's going to pay That's lawyers and see. it's going to pay their missionaries in Africa that are converting people to Catholicism because nobody else in the world seems to want to do it anymore. Yeah. Okay, that, yep. you've got more African priests coming over doing... Like visitations, yeah. In mo- in in our churches today, because they they've run out of people to be Catholics in, you know, in more modern, de- more developed in, nations. More developed nations. That's the word, not modern. But so let me ask you guys a question: What if this happened to say the Statue of Liberty, and that thing was keeled over into the into be the harbor? Right I'd now. say the French are snake bitten because clearly. <laughs> <laughs> 
Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking quick bastard. That was good. <laughs> Maybe it burned off that green varnish that just well, <laughs> would, would, would we be having the same conversation though if it was a Statue of Liberty? I, I, I would because we kind of already went through that in the eighties with the, I, with the with the um in the 80s. With, the, with the restoration of Statue of Liberty that, and how what? many friggin' remember all that all the like, well, that, yeah, that was that was that Ghostbusters too. No, 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 it was no, true. No, right. Yeah, in no, the 80s. No, yeah, old enough, dude. I'm sorry, youngin. Yeah, no, <laughs> the, I, I remember when it was completely covered in scaffolding. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and they and, made a terrible shitload of movies I believe the state of New York that. paid for it. Yeah. I don't, and I'm not no, just saying had, that because I'm a New Yorker. I, I genuinely believe, I believe New York and New Jersey banded together. Yeah. And paid for that out of funds, which probably wasn't a good use of their money either. That's what I mean. But they weren't soliciting donations. No, but people no. did no. donate. Well, do you not. think if that happened now, people would step forward and donate to of rebuild the Statue of Liberty? I think they would, they would, but I, I'd like to believe that we wouldn't so readily have our hand out. Yeah. We might we might be able to I, make it out of gold with all like the I said, friggin' I don't mind money. that people donated to rebuild this thing. I don't. I, I wouldn't mind if people donated to uh, restore the Statue of Liberty or repair any damage that was done to it for anything, and it, and it should be done. Mm -hmm. But it, it was just shock that they were at almost a billion dollars in less than 24 hours yeah. of a... Um, it's a building, yeah. It, it, you know? And granted, it's an 850-year-old building, and if an earthquake struck tomorrow and it fell down... Fucking, that would be horrible, and you know, just from the from a historical standpoint. Sure. Yeah. No yeah. doubt. Um, yeah. No, that uh, I'm I'm with you there. And my, but I just, it, priorities are fucked up. And that's no that's shit. the bottom line is if we it's can never raise that, the, if we can no. raise that much money to fucking do this, then why can't we raise that much money? To for, do other things? To do more important yeah. things. That's my thing. Because we don't agree on what's important. Things. Exactly. Yeah. Can, we we don't, can we all agree that it, humanity is Humans dying is in the up. fucking streets isn't important. No, because they developed a drug problem out of desperation, and therefore that's no longer our problem. That's right. on them. Yeah. yeah. All right. A lot of and, 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 you know, not in my backyard. Remember that whole thing? Yeah. You don't yeah. want to build a prison. Carlin did a whole bit on this. I don't even want to rip him off, but the whole idea is you want a prison in your backyard. Because if they break out, guess what? They ain't staying. Yeah, it's the safest neighborhood to be. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Mr. George. <laughs> yeah, I, and I'm ripping them off. Sorry, George. No, but you, I mean, but it's right. But it just it just blew me away. That was all. It's you, I I'm not against it. Like I said, I'm not against it being rebuilt. I think it should be rebuilt. And over time, over time, it took right. 850 years to. It took them 200 years to build it. Yeah. yeah. And they've still been working on it. You, uh, <laughs> had they got the guys Job from the security. pyramid? Like, if they went to, like, the pyramid contracting company? <laughs> I was just going to say, they had the worst contractors ever. <laughs> Fucking unions. Yeah. It's because they don't work for that guy before. They can't, <laughs> it's because they can't work on Sundays. Can, can we come put that floor in? No, the paint is not done yet. <laughs> <laughs> no, the fucking windows on it. <laughs> like, what the fuck? I keep rescheduling. It sucks. <laughs> oh, no, fucking I, I blame the French. <laughs> I just blame the French. So the other thing was again in New, in New well, not again because it didn't quite happen, but in New York, a guy walked into Saint pa Saint Patrick's. Oh yeah, with f with five gallons of gas. Lighter fluid, and they said he had like six lighters on him. I'm yeah. like, he must have bought those like 99 cent ones at the counter. <laughs> he did not all of them work, so he wanted to make sure that he had a good one. He bought an economy pack. Yeah, <laughs> I think he was going to use them to make it for an explosion. I think yeah. that was the, no, I'm serious. Yeah. I think, I think, I think so. he was setting them up so they'd blow up and spread yeah. out. But uh, yeah, he had he had uh, gallons of gas, lighter fluid, and and <laughs> lighters, and he walked right in. To the church walked right in. You know, uh, this well, is probably it's a cathedral. The, it's not. A, it's a cathedral. It, it's yeah. phenomenal. And it's fucking gorgeous. I've been in it, and it, it's, it's as epic it's, as Notre Dame, and it keeps the same prominence in the skyline. Yeah. And since this is probably going to be my last trip to New York, let me have this. Yeah. All right. so, <laughs> <laughs> so no, we're you know when you go to New York and and somebody has like a, an event around the world, all, all security in New York goes up. Yeah, yeah it has because to. of nine eleven. So the like, guy didn't make it ten feet in the front door. No. But you don't think for a minute that they were looking for copycats. And if there's going to be yeah, a copycat, it's going to be some douche from Queens. <laughs> <laughs> Hops on the 7 train, the old International Express there, and he takes his way right into Times Square and walks up a few blocks. He said, St. Patrick's Cathedral. How do you walk through New York City with a fucking gas can? How many times? <laughs> like, now, you've well, gone to New York. I guess. I've seen a guy yeah. laying in a fucking 
thing smoking crack in yep. broad daylight. Mm-hmm. So Could I guess be wine. Yeah. You mind your own Inside business. That Keep thing. your yeah. head down. And you mind your own business. Yeah. That's somebody else's problem. Yeah. And I'm embarrassed to admit that it's just, I'm, it's I'm 100% as, true. I'm as much the problem as anybody else because when I go head down, mind your fucking business. No, and it, I see it. Don't get involved. It's yeah. not going to help anybody. And that that's the attitude. It probably shouldn't be. But if I see a guy working with six You'd have gas to stop cans, every fucking three minutes. Well, did you guys, you guys, what would you do if you saw well, that? Well, I saw a guy with six gas cans. I'm thinking he works for the MTA. I'm thinking he go. works for somebody that needs six gallons of gas. Yeah. Like, I wasn't really giving it a whole lot of thought beyond yeah. that. You know, because again, I've got shit to do. Right. And again, I'm not proud of that. But that's just what that's you do. Is, this man. guy probably went on the subway with six gallons. That's again. what I'm yeah. saying. He's yeah. <laughs> sitting on the subway with his metro but it's, pod. Like, but it's messed <laughs> up. You said this guy. This guy didn't get like ten feet. No. As door. soon as he walked in the door, the security, the security in the cathedral, fucking Tagged grabbed him, him immediately. Yeah. And then call the cops. Cops came no, in. You guys, sure, they beat the fucking shit out of him. And then dragged him out of there. No, because people were watching. Did and, you guys hear yeah. the story that he gave the cops on what he was doing? What. He ran L- out of gas. He's going to light a candle? No, he ran out of gas. <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot of dead relatives. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he fucking, he told, he told the police that he, his car ran out of gas down the street and he was taking a shortcut through the freaking cathedral. <laughs> that was his excuse, that was to, his the, excuse? To, to the cops, I That's swear to God. That's pretty good one. Never gone out the back. Been there a few yeah. times. Yeah. <laughs> Even when I'm trying to sneak out of mass early. Yeah. Well, I used to do that. I used to get communion. Yeah, I've been, and duck I, out the I front walked door. in there. I didn't see a back door. No, only in church. The, only in church, you go in the back, right? I. Yeah. <laughs> My church always had a door like right next to the altar. And so what we would the do side is doors. It, there was a side door. And so I would sit there, get my community, and I'd just duck out and beat traffic. Yep. And it was the best thing ever. Yeah. Because I didn't want to be there. Anymore. No. You know, it was great when, <laughs> when I was a kid. I'm sorry. We're going to go off topic. No, dude. Go when ahead. I was old enough, my dad was in a softball league, like in the police league, and they played on Sundays. Yep. When I got old enough, my mother would ask me, do you want to go to church? Do you want to go to softball with dad? <laughs> I was like five years old. I felt like I looked at her like, Really? You're yeah, fucking asking me. You're asking me that question. We're gonna stop. I'm gonna get egg muffins. I'm gonna sit in the dugout with a bunch of adults and hear them swear and tell stories for three hours. Or church. Or church. Yeah. <laughs> there was some ninety year old lady fought on the side of me and fucking listen to this guy fucking talk boring shit for fucking an hour. Yeah. <laughs> it's so funny that you mentioned the farting. Yeah. <laughs> Because in church, it we smells had, like farts in there. We, well, we had a woman in our church, and it was a, that's why they walk around those incense things. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and they, go, they go like that along the aisle. Well, they with this woman, they hung out. Like they stopped the procession and they just hung out, and let it burn for a while. <laughs> this woman fucking stunk. We used to see her come in every week alone, and she walked in and she carried a jar, and she used to get a jar of holy water every week. Oh, and really? She would go like there, there's that fountain right in the yep. front of most Catholic churches. And so she'd fill it. But she'd walk with this jar like it was holding a fetus. Like she just had it in there and she was holding it to her chest and whatever. And then there was this other guy that always looked like he had literally just gotten back from Nam. Like <clears throat> he had the overcoat, dead of summer, whatever, still wearing this coat. Yeah. He looked homeless. Well, Chuck Willery must have been Catholic because they made a love connection. And the two of them started sitting together in church and he started primping his hair and everything else. And we're like, well, you know, good for them. Yeah. Good for them. God brought them together. And then I sat behind him. (laughs) (laughs) And I don't mean like he was at three rows. I sat behind him and he still stunk like awful cologne or whatever. And in the middle of mass, just as soon as the homily was over, Boom, he cuts a huge fucking <laughs> fart. My dad, who didn't say the word fart, looked yeah. at me and goes, Do you fart? <laughs> <laughs> and she's standing there with the holy water that I thought might have been gas. And at any given moment, this whole place was just going to go up like a Roman candle. It was really, really awful. And that might have been my last church experience. I kid you not. I'm not even exaggerating. I don't think I went back. <laughs> but, but yeah, I mean, back to the point of the. the it was an immediate copycat response yep. yeah. to walk into a cathedral, another cathedral. And granted, it's it's awesome. It's a, it's a beautiful building. It's not Notre Dame or any of the other cathedrals that are in Europe because it doesn't have the history. I, just, I don't really but, care. It's a no, but, building, but, but it's a it's it's a beautiful place and it's awesome. But you know they're going to have these copycats yep. immediately. But the other thing, too, is also now the cons- conspiracies have started. 
Of course they have. And th- have you seen the film yet? Oh, the mysterious man in the roof and the sudden flash. Yeah. And it's a worker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and like the sun reflect off his watch <laughs> for a split second. It's the painter cranking a butt upstairs. Yeah. Well, no, it was like the flash, and you can tell. That's how the fight started. You can tell the flash the way because it the way the flash like moved that it was the sun reflecting off of something. Yeah. So, but everybody's like. Oh no, that's the guy who saw. So he lit the fire and then stood there for another five minutes and hung out. <laughs> and then sure it's, it the second he left, it burst into fucking massive flame. Yeah, it's like now, nah, come on, some they because they said immediately they think it was something to do with electrical when these computer error. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was now, com- yeah. yeah, when they because there's a lot of work going on. They had just removed those statues, the uh, bronze statues. And Mike, stuff this like is that. why we tell you to update Windows Eight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh-huh, they say yeah. it was it was an error. Something happened. It was no because all of a sudden somebody sees a, a a Middle Eastern guy in the crowd and he's talking to his buddy and he's laughing. So there's like 900 pitches, of course, yeah. all over the internet of these two guys that probably were just. In the crowd, watching the place burn well, with everybody one, I think else. One of them's going like, like he's got his thumbs up, doesn't he? He's talking to his friend, and it's a candid shot. He's uh, probably like, "Hey," and it just looks like he's fucking fine. Uh, you know, like it's it's but ridiculous. Do you guys remember there was? Uh, like and even that, maybe he was. Mm, maybe, it's maybe he was like, "Fuck it, sweet." So what? Yeah, I know. Fuck he's you remember like that of, of like there was like a six year old girl who was like it, standing in front of a, a house that was burning, and she was just kind of smirking at the camera. Right. Yeah. That same girl happened to be in France when this when Notre Dame burned down. No, she, sir. she took another same picture. Exactly. She just happened to take it. She was like, "Fuck it." She took the same selfie no, like across sir. the river. No yeah. way. Oh, that is fantastic. Wow. Yeah. Burning house girl, or whatever That's her name was. Like, yeah. She's now it's gonna be ten years, twelve years later. Yeah. But yeah. She happened to be there. She had her friend take a picture of her smirking at the camera with Notre Dame like two miles out in the distance. That there. is fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> and as bad as we are, really. I think I would feel worse about that. <laughs> yeah. yeah no I don't know. I like it. This is a massive <laughs> opportunity. <laughs> but, I don't know. Man. But my thing is, everybody freaked, freaked out. And so you, maybe those guys were laughing because maybe, maybe, because you, for one thing, you don't know if they were Muslim. They just looked Middle Eastern. They sure. could have been Christians too. I stood around. I watched the. The annex in Warren burned down. It was right across the street from my house. And it was one of the oldest buildings in town. Mm-hmm. And it's, I had a steeple. I watched the thing fall in. Standing there with people talking, laughing. You, yeah. sing, you sing Ave Maria? No. Yeah, because no. that's no. the same. But No, I'm not saying la- like laughing the whole time. But you're like, wow, this place is burning down. But you're talking to people. So, you know, At some it's point, not, the, the you, shock you, of the moment wears goes off. Wears off. Just, exactly. It's something like, hol- like, oh, like, what the f- like, holy shit. Did you see that? Like, you know. But Craig, you had to sneak a fucking conspiracy theory. In no, what I'm saying is they've started. There is none, is what I'm saying. Yeah. It was an electrical fire, and that's it. Because let me tell you something. Right now, and maybe they were Muslims, and maybe they were standing there going, ha, 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 ha. Look, this is fucking awesome. You know, because maybe they were. Because you know what? If a fucking mosque was burning down in France... It would be the streets would be fucking lined yeah. with fucking white people going. <laughs> I'll do you one better. So. One did this week. Yeah, a mosque burned down in one of the holiest cities in the Middle East. And <laughs> yeah, oh, I'm, see, sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. Wait, yeah. no. see, that is exactly what happened this weekend. There was no outcry. So yeah, the it's Muslim American community is like, how come we're not dumping our money into that? Yeah, because the, the religion of Islam is not radical Islam, no. and so because of that, they're saying, why isn't the money going towards them? They haven't made a dime. With no, with yeah. no, it also hasn't been a dime contributed to four less pristine churches that burned down in our country because yeah. of some cracker this week, some cracker method yeah. that gives all white people a bad name. Okay, that guy burned four of them down yep. in the name of black metal or whatever it is. Yeah. His favorite band did not play the concert I went to. I just <laughs> yeah. to but why are we not putting money into that? Why you know it probably cost ten cents on the dollar to build yeah. one of those churches. Why mm-hmm. more than a that. A thing I mean, that that was filled every Sunday. Yeah. With it, people who with, just wanted with to worship people that together. just want to go. Yeah. So, again, our priorities are fucked. Yep. And I don't think we need to belabor this too much longer. But I think that's kind of where we're at. And I will continue to stand behind that theory. Yeah. You make a good point. I, I, I don't know, Mike. I, Mike, made, know, a good, Mike yeah, yeah. made a good point, too. I mean, I get it from that from the religious point of view. It was just the amount of money, the speed that it came in, and that, and that it's still growing. Right. 
I just want to see what they do with it after. Yeah, it's like these people yeah, were waiting for something to happen to, to give their money. Yeah, I want to see yeah. what they do with Thank it you. after. Because if if something, if they do something big with that money after, then it's all worth it. Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean. Because but it, and if we don't hear anything about it, yeah, that's a different story. That's we how, have we. I mean, they have to at this point. They, they got to do something. Yeah. They have to because they can't just freaking say, "Oh, we're going to put it in the coffers." In the corner of every church is meant to feed the hungry. Yeah, yep. That's why it's they there. They can't just say we're going to put it in our coffers you know, and uh, until the next time it burns yeah. down, we'll have some money yeah, to rebuild exactly. it. You know, they yeah. got to do something fucking but with the money. Y- you're right. It's I you hope. know, it, it's more than just a building, though. It's it's part of a religion, yeah. and big part of religion is symbolism. Yeah. yeah, and that's at this point, 850 years old. That's what this is. That's what it is. Yep. I get exactly. that perspective, but it, when you boil it down to realistic, like we said at the beginning of this discussion four days ago. Yeah, it's, <laughs> uh, uh, there, there it's, should, people should be at the forefront. Right. Uh, that's that's for me. But right. yeah, it's, you know, it's become a symbol instead yeah. of starting off as one. It's actually right. become one over the years. Yeah, exactly. You know, and, and you know, there's there's other things that are that are burning or maybe stop burning soon that we need to talk about that are just as important. Speaking of burning symbols, right? Burning Dave. symbols. <laughs> I'd like to speak about a burning symbol. Yeah. What what would that symbol be, Craig? <laughs> oh boy. I would say that it was Ned Umber burning on the wall with the limbs, with surra- spiraled limbs around, spiraled him. limbs around him Fucking in the Game of amazing. Thrones, because that's awesome. That- <laughs> so, so, wait, 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 Brad wait, wait, just- wait, no, 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 oh, yeah. no, 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 we are not doing this yeah. tonight. <laughs> yep. No, actually, I knew you were going to do this tonight. But- no, but we, I mean, <laughs> touch on it the week. Re- I talked about it in the re- week review. I thought it had to be brought up. Game of Thrones this week. Everybody else is talking about it except for you two yeah. guys. Nah, it, it was a great episode. They, I, I loved the way they left off the final last season. Yeah, the way it led into this season was fucking perfect. Yeah, it, it's the writing is fucking fantastic. These guys are doing an unbelievable job. A lot of people complain. There was people that complained about the episode, but of course, there's going to be people that complain because immediately they want to see somebody swinging a sword and fighting. Right. But it, that's not what made the show makes the show great. No, the setup that they did this week was fantastic. Yes, all these people coming together, meeting in Winterfell, <laughs> was, <laughs> was Brad. You want to go get a burger? Yeah, <laughs> no. I think we could cook a side of beef in the amount of time these two idiots are going to be talking about this shit. No. But I mean, they had all these characters that have had interactions throughout the seasons yes. that some thought were dead. Or, or gone, or yep. or they had screwed over. So in they're the basically past and tying up all these loose ends. And now all these people have come together, but they're all, they're all coming together to fight this one and it, snowball. But you it, know? Ma- <laughs> it makes sense how they're coming together. So th- this yeah. the whole thing with this series is it follows so many characters in so many different directions in this one world. If, up until up until this season's opener, you wondered what was the point. Why am I? interested in all these people and they've never been together no but but they have a logical reason to and that's that's the thing it wasn't just like, hey let's bring everyone back for the fucking finale episode it made Ye- sense yeah and that was the thing to me and, and they got the writing back to what started the show and made it good it, it was the build-up it wasn't just last season i can get behind some of the criticism they tried to rush through a lot they of the, did. the build-up they to get did to action yeah. this whole episode there was no fighting no, there was there was one scene where Theon rescued his sister. Yeah, that was it. That was it, it. which was really cool. It and was did a you see? Did scene. you see Mac? From, yes, from he, yeah, he caught an arrow Mac, through his eye. Mac from uh, it's oh, always yeah, sunny in once. Philadelphia was in it. Oh, get out of here! Yeah, because yeah. he's been he's that. he's been an outspoken fan of the show. So he basically played an extra. He was in it for three seconds. He caught an arrow in the eye and, <laughs> and fell over. Wait a minute. There, there was no fighting in this episode. He caught an arrow to the no, eye. The, no, that's what I was saying. There was, the pussy. only scene that there was any fighting that. was... Was that Was one. Theon Greyjoy goes to save his sister. I'm still getting you over know. Theon. I remember him from good times. He was, <laughs> <laughs> it was the episode where the neighbor ate cat food. Yep. <laughs> but they had the best... There was a few of those episodes. My favorite show. thing was they started the final season exactly the way they started the first episode. Yes. Was there was a little kid running through the crowd. There's a there's a there's a um, an army marching through yep. through the town. Mm-hmm. And the little kid's trying to see the army and he's looking through the people and he's like it was a parade almost. And he's making his way through. And in the first in the first episode ever, 
uh, Arya Stark, which is she's a little girl. She's doing the same thing because the king is coming to Winterfell. Yep. So he's got his arm, you know, his, his men with him, and they're marching through, and it's like a parade. And she's trying to look through the crowd, look through the crowd. And she climbs a tree, mm-hmm. and she sees him. And the kid climbs a tree, and when he climbs to the top of the tree, it pans to her standing right in the front. Now she's older. Oh, she's standing cool. right in front, watching the army march by. Watching the army march by. Yep. I thought that was really cool. There's no dialogue for like the first three minutes, mm-hmm. three or four minutes. And then the opening dialogue is fucking fantastic. To the cock merchant we go. Because <laughs> he's there. <laughs> is he? It's, it with no or way. Way. it's Tyrion. Not the cock merchant. Not the Damn cock it. merchant. The midget. The midget. With or Tyrion, without a cock. Tyrion Lannister is there. And he's with this guy. He's a eunuch. He's right. He's He's been. He had his cock sold. Right? I know. Yeah. Was that? No, no. So, his cock was sacrificed. Sock sacrificed. Yeah. But. It it's so funny because Brad just left. So what did, what did he say to about oh oh you're lucky? He says at least you you're not freezing your balls off. Yeah. <laughs> the, the midget says to him, at least you're not freezing your balls off. So he looks at him and he goes, Why is it that you hate dwarf jokes, but you're so quick to make unit uh to make eunuch jokes? And he goes, Cause I have balls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll give it to you. That's yeah. Yeah, that's <laughs> that was that was the opening that's lines how they started. of yeah. the eight, of season eight. That was the opening <laughs> dialogue to season eight. Was I find fantastic. it very hard to believe that what is this supposed to be the fifteenth century? There's no, there is no time. This is yeah, this so is do not balls, even taking. Do balls exist? This isn't even <laughs> taking place. Like, in, like, I didn't see any sports in the few episodes that I've watched of this show. But he's talking about his balls, like making like a euphemism, right? A eunuchism. A eunuchism. Yep. This is before they had screw talks. No, yep. <laughs> no, this doesn't even take place Instead in this saying, world. That blown, blown up, it's that blown those, up it's goat own, stomach. It's its own universe. Think you know like, what I mean? It's kind of like Lord of the Rings. Like it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's yeah. Earth-like, universe. but it's something totally Another different. Another favorite of mine. <sighs> yep. Can you turn those mics off? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, You guys turned this just, mic off as soon as this fucking topic started. It was really well done. I'm kidding. And I'm oh, okay. I'm really excited for it because there's yeah. only there's only six episodes. So there's only five left. There's only five left. Oh, we have a question from the back row. We do. I have my hand up because this is actually a legit, legitimate question. As a writer, as yep. somebody who believes that he could probably write this shit, like you know, drunk and tired. <laughs> but I'm curious, like, if, so the, like the winter to... is coming has been the whole premise of the show. Yes. Yeah. Well, at least the tagline. The name's snow, obvious. Yep. Okay, that's got a lot to well, do with it. Yeah. But well, what about he's Stark? from the north? The Stark, no. because when you think about a winter landscape, it's Stark. There's <laughs> well, no leaves. There's no that, that, I yeah. never, I never really put that together. But that's the Starks are from the north. Wait that's a minute. Like the the house, the house Stark is from the north. The north is always snow, always shit. So, Jon Snow is a bastard son. Well. Through the whole series, it was thought to be the bastard son oh, of Ned Stark. Oh, don't give it away. Don't give it away. No, listen. Because we want to no, watch it. But what I'm saying is, so because <laughs> cause he was a bastard in the North, his last name is Snow. He doesn't get the family name. He doesn't name. get the family name. He gets the name Snow. It's like a generic. So, so any bastard in the North, their last well, name is Snow. I'm gonna, and, if the, and the people from the South and Westeros and stuff are Sand. Cool. Yeah. Is their last name. So I, who's Stark is, again? Tony? There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Wait yeah. a minute. Didn't the Avengers Mike, already Mike, do I'm something? I'm trying to be with you on this, man, but don't do that. Uh, I was yeah. like, <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, I just need to know, though. Like, do you feel that, like, there's been, uh, like, a tell all along? Feel free to spoil it. There's nothing you guys no, are going to speculate that isn't out there already. I, no, yeah, I know. Right. No, no, I don't I'm not see, worried I don't about see that. a tell. Uh, honest, the, the, it's, it's so many characters, and you've been, to me, that's what gets the show. It's about people that get put in situations. Because they're not always loyal to the same people. It's situations it's that drive constantly decisions. changes. Yeah. yeah, and it's it doesn't seem arbitrary. So for me, seeing how they progress through different situations, it makes a lot of sense. Like I would probably make different decisions in different situations. Yeah. So I don't think there's a tell. I think we all, most people would agree that there's going to be certain people that have an impact in how the story ends. But what impact and how it ends is still up in the air. Yeah. And you, you as, I mean, you more than anybody, you and Craig are very devout fans. But I think you, this has been a thing since we've gotten to know you. Love it. All right. So make a prediction. Oh. Do something ballsy. Wait, can we that, get it's, The prediction do, is so tough because my mine have changed. 
Like I called, I knew that Jon Snow was a Targaryen. That could hint at for a few seasons. And, 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 yeah. And, like by like the end of, I don't know if it was season five or season six. I was like, he's a Targaryen. He's not. So this is the problem a, with Game of Thrones but, fans because you, I did not ask you. <laughs> All right, sorry. No, he, he, I'm sorry. I, parchment is coming. I will. I will. Yeah. I will throw it out. So I. I. I think. <laughs> I think the Night King is actually going to be a Targaryen. Is that that blue guy? Yes, I think that the Night King is going to be a Targaryen, and I think they started this the march for the another long winter because the person that sits on the throne that's overseeing the whole country. Is a fucking lunatic. Is a and, lunatic, and it's 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 they're almost like a force of nature. Like they're gonna take bring, you know, normalcy back to everything. If that means killing off half the population, that's what happens. I do like the fact that it's based in American politics. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, There was a wall and everything. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It awesome. Except it's the white guy invading. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You don't want those sand people. No. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, Craig, I want your same answer. I was busting your balls. Before. I, it's t- for me to make a prediction on it. I don't know. Uh, it's so tough because things change. Like I said, it, it's constantly changing and evolving the storyline. All right, but I got a so, gun to your head, and we got a two floor elevator ride before you get capped. Ooh. So I'm telling you now, <laughs> you better give me an answer that matters. This, make a prediction for the end of the show. There's a prophecy that the only way that the Night King can be destroyed is by the prince with the blood of his love on the, on the sword. So Jon <laughs> Snow is going to have to kill Daenerys Targaryen. On the second Tuesday in he's, April. He, he's going to kill her and then kill the Night King. And mm. he's going to end up sitting on the throne. Maybe. I don't know. It's so tough. He doesn't to want the throne. He doesn't want it. So it's so tough to tell because if he dies, then that all he's, team. He's like Ned Stark, who's not actually his father. Yeah. He doesn't want it, but he, he wants to want protect it. everybody. But I think he might want it now because because he knows Sam, it's his. Samuel Tolley is going to convince him because he's going to say, she's not as merciful as you are and, ju- and just as you are. She's as much as she is. Yeah, either that a or a just or, person. She's still fucking hardcore. Either that or Jamie kills his sister. And then he can kill the Night King. I thought about that too because I was thinking he is the King Slayer, and what better way to kill the King and then kill the Sorry. next King Thanks, bro. and re- kind of redeem himself because they've made you yeah. like him, they've made you start to like him. Yeah, as much as you hated him in the beginning, they made you they made you hate him from fucking the first the episode. First episode, he pushes Bran Stark out the fucking window. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> little. But kid, since then, he's had moments where you're like, he's a good guy. He's just been corrupted. Yeah. Yeah, I got a yep. prediction. Having never watched more than five episodes of the show, and I admit to watching five out of the corner of my eye while I was working. <laughs> yep. I have a prediction that none of your predictions will come true. No, I, I would totally I, agree. I agree and, with you. I, I also think there will not be a, a meaningful resolution to the show, and I do think they'll leave the door open to reopen this storybook Mm-mm. if and when George R. R. Martin says it's okay. Go dive into my other books. And, and bastardized. Nah, they are, no, they, I no. They've they, written they past already, his books for the storyline. I don't think they can oh, come really? back he already, to this. He already, yeah. told, he already told, he told them how he was going to end his books last year. Mm. I still think he's got more books in him. He's no, he does. He's got more stories to there's, tell. There's two more no, books. No, he doesn't. No, there's two more books. Have you seen George R.R. Yeah, Martin? Yeah, he, he's, he's probably not going to finish He looks like Mike on a bad week. <laughs> he's probably I not going to. He's written probably, an ending. And his co- company's already got that. Yeah, no, and he, and he told them. <laughs> he has his he, stories. He, he already told them the ending. And he said that it may, when I do the books, it may change. The book ending may how be... How they get there might be they, different. How they get there might be different, but he told them the ending. Yeah. So they I, know. I think so they're going to finish it off. This is such a moneymaker. They're making more ratings than they ever have. The show is killing it right now. Spin-offs. People are binging it right now. Yeah. Disney just hired them to write a trilogy for Star Wars. It's going to be all really. Yep. They're already writing and producing a prequel. Yeah, Sto- prequel there, yeah there is a prequel for series for it. But it's set a thousand years in the past, right? So before yeah. these all all these before events before these so events happen. To basically, I, I hope they get an annoying little kid to play like young Jon Snow. <laughs> and then, then they have no. him fall in love with a girl only like eight 26. years older than him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's no, it's it takes place. It's the prequel is supposed to take place way before any of these yeah. events. Will there be but dragons? They did hire, yes, they did hire the two, the, two the two showrunners. <laughs> the two showrunners um, are were just 
were hired by Disney to do a Star Wars trilogy. And the rumor is, and it was slightly confirmed by Kathleen Kennedy, that it's going to be an um, Old Republic Thrawn. movie. No, nah, it's going to be an Old Thrawn. Republic, like oh, a really? Knights of the Old Republic, way oh, back cool. before. You know, Jedi's I mean? were an everyday which, thing. Which kind of, I, I mean, I guess that's in their wheelhouse is doing that older, not necessarily medieval because it wouldn't be medieval. It would be medieval in the Star Wars universe, I guess. You know, <laughs> yeah. the idea. But, is, is, yeah, they're all but I think uh, ideas. I, I actually want to raise a glass. We've been busting your balls uh. all night. And we don't mean to. We, you know, no, that's yes, fine. Do <laughs> that's fine. No, we do. I, I shat we love all over you. your fucking WrestleMania thing last week. Yes, you did. That was twenty minutes of stuff you just stepped right off. Yeah, I, 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 I and I apologize. For I, that. I want to I raise bad. a glass, guys. I hope you're enjoying this. I also want to raise a glass to all the virgins out there. The two, guys, <laughs> the two guys that just drove this conversation are both married to good-looking women. <laughs> I think this episode of this show is a bigger pillar of hope than the church. In yeah. the <laughs> if these guys can do it, you're safe. Yeah. I can't argue. I totally right. kicked my coverage. Are, are, you, oh, yeah. are you kidding me? Mm-hmm. Dude. Oh, yeah. Dude, good. You, you are so XFL to her fucking Super Bowl. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. XFL. No argument. <laughs> Thanks for letting us play along, boys. No. Cheers. And that's it. Let's, let, we'll end the Game of Thrones discussion. These guys yeah. don't want to hear it. We'll pick it up next week. Yeah, Maybe, maybe yeah. you and I can guest back on the, the Nerd Entertainment Hub and spend some time talking about the maybe, stuff for real. Maybe we can. Maybe Fuck go. these two. Yeah. There you go. That's a, little, that's a better idea. <laughs> Let's move on from medieval fiction and dragons and shit to something that makes more sense. Let's do this. Put, yep. If you could be typecast as any character, what would you be? Go. Oh. Like completely off topic here. We're getting off the outline. If I was going to be typecast as any, it would be fucking Luke Skywalker. Luke, really? Yeah, fuck yeah. I'd be Vader in a heartbeat. Definitely. Well, <laughs> well yeah, and that's but not in a mask, not, but not even no, but nobody would He's know. He's not even. There's f- been fucking nine of them. But you are a whiny <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Wow, we just went silent on that. All right. yeah. Wow. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, but yeah. Job of the Hut. You oh, were already I were typecast. Yeah. That, yeah. <laughs> he was typecast after you. <laughs> <laughs> like, I met this guy once. Oh, oh. <laughs> Judge Lucas, like, I met this guy ah, once. Ah, and ah. <laughs> I would be Michael Corleone. Yeah, that, that's Including three? Yeah, three is an underrated movie. I, it, the one it's underrated because it sucks. No, it's not. It's, You're wrong. It's, you, you take the, his daughter out of it. It's actually not a terrible movie. It's not the that way bad. that the mafia I mean, was tied in not, with the Catholic yeah. Church in Italy. That was, was actually that a was really good, good story. I think so. Yeah, I, I, I think. Yeah, I think the, the story the daughter is good. Sucks. And yeah. you know, the Sons of Anarchy actually teased that with the IRA. Yes, and they did the same vibe. Yeah, and the, the whole idea that the Sons of Anarchy is any different than the Sopranos or any other mob show. It's all organized crime. Yeah. And it almost always goes back to some kind of bigger cause. Mm-hmm. Yep. And that's what I loved about it. I know. I, do I love three in comparison to one and two? Those are two perfect movies. You can't yeah. follow You that. can't follow that. Yeah. Godfather three gets a bad rap because of one reason and one <laughs> reason only. And that's Sofia Coppola playing. Yeah. She wormed her way into the movie because of who her dad is. That, and she's a terrible actress right down to that god-awful death scene. I wanted to kill her for real to see if she would fall the same way. Yeah. <laughs> yep. But ultimately, that movie gets a bum rap. It's not a bad flick. No, I, mean, I think it's, it's, it's when it came horrible, out, too. Right? Yeah. That was early 90s movie. It was like 89, I think. Right. But yeah, but yeah the same it, Just body. because of when it came out. It was 10 years after the two originals. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And, right, 50, and, and you're getting into that time frame where you're seeing like, Goodfellas and those other movies. Yeah, and they, yeah, and they started changing the way those movies were made a yeah. little bit. I too, think Michael so. Corleone though is iconic because the way he didn't want to be involved, he didn't want to be involved, and, and he, yet he was somehow forced into it. The, the implication was that it was in his blood, and the instant they challenged the family, those instincts took and over. And he was good at it, and he was phenomenal. That was the yeah. thing. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't. He went from army brat to heir apparent, and meanwhile, Sonny's just there. You know, trying to get through a toll booth. Anyway, right. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I still, he had changed. I still love that meme. If he had easy pass, he'd be alive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I just think there's so many great moments of that character that I, I hate everything Al Pacino's done since then. Really? Be- I, I mean, Donnie Brasco was good, but yeah, Donnie was a good. He movie. annoys he the fuck out yeah. of me now because he's become this weird. He big became head. Nicholas. Harris. He's he's the fucking rougher voiced Nicholas Cage. Yeah. He's a, he's a, he's a, he's a, you know what I mean? 
I got to say yeah. something, and then I got to get louder. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. He's a caricature of the character he played in Dick Tracy. Yeah. Well, that that was the beginning of the downfall. Yep. Which yeah. Which was, by, incidentally, a year after Godfather Three. Yeah. So, and you know, and Madonna was in that too, and fuck Madonna. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Everybody nasty. else did. Yep. She's nasty. Yeah. Yeah. I thought you said the same thing I did. <laughs> like, all right, Mike, who would you be if your typecast is anybody? Wolverine, no doubt. No shit, huh? Wow. Guaranteed. I mean, so you die on a so log. I, so I have no, <laughs> no, definitely, man. He's, he's like, a loner. At least he was laying down. He's a loner. <laughs> Don't you have an adamantium hip? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do, kind of, in a back. But yeah, he's a loner, fucking doesn't look for trouble, always fucking seems to find him. And he kicks ass. That's a pretty accurate. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. Fuck it. I'll give you that one. Wow. That's yeah. me. That's pretty good. Dave? I can't follow that. But you have to. Fucking Wolverine. But you have to. Man, I... Theon Greyjoy. <laughs> <laughs> Get my cock chopped off. <laughs> People call me weak. Why are you laughing? You didn't watch it. <laughs> you have absolutely no reason to laugh. I, I was laughing at Craig. Yeah. Just the way he says things. You know? It's funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's like in stereo. It's him and his neck thing at the same time. <laughs> oh, no, all right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I laugh when Craig no, I didn't, I never he tells it. me stories like, I got laid last night. <laughs> 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 I'm like fiction rules. <laughs> I got home early from work today. I'm like, you want to do it? She's like, yeah, a little bit. I'm like, and I was like, hey. She's like, oh yeah, I forgot about that. I'm gonna take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> she chose exhaustion and boredom yeah. over you. <laughs> yeah. Oh God. God, God! God bless you, Fran. Yeah. So I guess if I had to be typecast, I'd probably be someone kind of like uh, like Deadpool. I think it's someone that's, that's Deadpool is funny oh, yeah. and a badass. At the yeah, same kind of time. Deadpool's a that's great, great guy. fucking people hate him, and then they love him all at the same time. But he's a badass at the same time. Yeah, I think I think that's a perfect mix of a lot of things. Yeah, yeah. I, and fantastic then fantastic. And then I could finally get laid by my wife. Yeah. <laughs> Start by burning your face. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> but I think um, let's chill out. Yeah, well, that's that's where I was going. We spent time talking about churches burning, you know, <laughs> Game of Thrones, right? Star Wars, <laughs> Game of Thrones, which is burning, and people love it. They're fucking into it. Hey, everybody, Star welcome Wars. to Nerd Entertainment Hub. Yeah, <laughs> uh, we, no. but we've been all over the place. We're, like we're in the the religion sci fi realm, and Brad's right. We need to chill out. And there's yeah. one place is trying to help us all do it. Yeah, if most parts of the country, you know what Carl's Jr. is. Right? Yes. It's a fast food burger joint. Damn good one, by the way. It is. Yeah, it I've, is. I've right? never been there, damn No, you know what? There's a they few places that it, don't it's, make it to this part of the country that it's should. It's outside the, your house. Oh, that's yeah. why. <laughs> they, there you go. No, yeah. I never had a Carl's Jr. No, but there's a few places. Like, like we talk about Carl's time. Jr. There's, there's In and Out Burger, Brad mentioned, I think. Yeah. There's Whataburger. There's a few other places around the country that are fucking awesome that we don't get here. But Carl's Jr. is introducing something to help us all fucking relax. And it's something that Mike wanted to talk about all week. I, <laughs> by week, I mean for the last 50 years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mike, why don't you take us into the chilled out part of this episode? All right. Carl's Jr. to introduce a CBD-infused 420 burger on... 420. That's right. Tomorrow, yep. folks. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah. All Cars Junior fans, bring your coupons. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Line up early. They're not doing it on biscuits. And I know that where the Carl's Juniors are, they like their fucking Because it's fucking awesome. They put it in the sauce. Yeah. It's, it's going to be a CBD infused sauce. So I'm not a big fan because my wife is in the industry. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of the whole idea of 420 for CBD because right. it's not it's really not, cannabis. Yeah. But... CBD, as somebody who has dabbled, is good shit. No, I've it's been associated. I've, so, I, yeah, so I've been believe. using. I've been using it, and I just actually texted Brad earlier today because I all of a sudden I threw out the the uh, bottle. I'm like, oh shit, what's well, the name of the company? <laughs> I needed more. <laughs> I was like, son of a bitch. <laughs> and um, I you know, but I I've been using it, and it works great. And the funny thing was, is I think that that's why I wasn't. So, I was having trouble sleeping. Brad gave me the CBD oil. All of a sudden, I was sleeping. 
like fine. You know, like everything was good. My hands didn't hurt so much. I was going to sleep. I'm a little concerned about this. Though. When what? was the last time you watched Holy Birdemic? Crack. Uh, Tuesday night, maybe. All right. So before then, you weren't sleeping and you weren't watching it. Yeah. No. You got problems with yeah. birds. We had an intervention with Mike last week. You need birds. to buckle up. <laughs> I'm birds. actually concerned about the fact that you're not sleeping without it. And I'm not. Well, we're not no. going to turn this into a whole medical discussion. Intervention. But I don't think this is any different than medicine. <laughs> now it's all no, natural. Crick's no, face. it's all na- No, what I'm what I'm saying is. It wasn't that I wasn't sleeping without it. I was, I was having trouble sleeping some nights and <laughs> stiff and stuff like that. But ever since I started using it, I was using it and I use it in the morning. That was the thing. Is I, every morning I get up, I do it because my hands hurt and stuff. And the first day I used it, I was like, oh, my hands are as swollen yeah. and fucked up. You know, <laughs> so I started. But I was sleeping and then I ran out. And I think that might have been something to do. It might not have been. I had a shitty week. <laughs> And that was probably <laughs> most of it. Thirteen people you know? around <laughs> walking on a carpet in their kitchen that wanted tile. Yeah, I'm sorry, no. I'm sorry for laughing, dude. But, but when you said when you said I'm sorry that you can't you can't sleep without it, I thought you meant Britannic. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that shit keeps me up. <laughs> no, because I actually without in- incriminating myself, I am providing this for Craig. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, he gave, he gave me a bottle of, of CBD, not not. Illicit, not illegal drugs. It was CBD, of but it was of like good quality, pure. Not the stuff you buy at the corner store. No, you know what I mean. This is yeah, 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 good yeah. stuff, and it works, and it does work. Mm-hmm. So, well, I got a bonus bottle for you because it ain't working on me. Really? It's, so it works. I want you to I'll drink, drink it. it. But let's Can get I back drink to it? the point. So, here. why, why is Carl's Jr. associating their CBD burger with, or the CBD sauce in their burgers with 420? Because you can is, buy CBD at a corner store. I'm yeah. thinking. It's traditionally yeah. a pot but celebrated day. What's, what's yeah, the correlation? I, I'm, there? Thinking, I'm thinking yeah. it's going to be like a cycle eat, get baked, get munchies, eat, eat again, eat, <laughs> eat again. Get baked, yeah. get munchies. Yeah. But Three or other, four times but a the day other thing is, on 420, they'll they, make some money. Can they do it? Because legally, they're not supposed to. Well, because it's not regulated for the food industry yet. All right, but but there's also nothing preventing them from doing it. Yeah, yeah there you okay. Go. It's not regulated in the sense that they can offer any benefit. There's no law there's against preventing it. them from putting it from in. Putting they're going to set policy yes. with this. Yeah. Well. Yeah. I don't think the, it's even going to matter. I think what they're doing is they're, they're marketing. Yeah. Period. Yeah. Carl's Jr. is never going to be your medical provider. No. no. <laughs> I, I, I think like, we're going oh, to do that. Come on, baby. I got to get to Carl's Jr. <laughs> My hands are hurt. I need a burger. Yeah. <laughs> but I think that would be a good idea. idea. CBD is so hot. Um, without blowing up too much of a spot, Melissa had a very, very famous celebrity chef come into her office yesterday. Yep. Because he wants to create a line of CBD infused foods. Well, and, they, and drinks. Good. And, but I mean, this is a name. Like, this yep. is a guy that you know from Food Network and Top Chef. And we, I, I'm not going to reveal it because I don't want to blow up his spot. But Melissa met him yesterday, and this guy's all about getting it in there. CBD yeah. is got relaxation properties. It's derived from cannabis. Does he look like fucking Rocky Dennis <laughs> without the giant fucking bumps? No. no. Uh, all right. So it's no, not it's Bobby not, Flay. It's not Bobby no. Flay. <laughs> I was just going to say that, too. Not Bobby Flay. No, I mean, he changed his name to Bobby Shway. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what are the chances we have a tasting on the show called as Needless to Taste? I'm all for yes. it. We also wanted to do a video game show called Needless to Play. We never launched that. No, yeah, that no, never launched. Yeah. 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 I think that the CBD thing is hot right now because it does have good relaxation problems. It does. Sure. And it's derived from weed, so they can make the 420 reference. Yep. I do think this is irresponsible, though. And I'll tell you why. And I'm not trying to be an anal old fart, but I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> I don't think the idea that you should put CBD in front of people in every possible vehicle is the best way to promote, promote. the actual medicinal value <laughs> yeah, of right. what this is. You're you turning know, it I shouldn't into... be able to buy it at 7-Eleven when I buy cigarettes right next to it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You're right. I think this has... Li- Craig is proof. I've watched this kid extend his hands for the first time since I've known him. Mm-hmm. All right? I'm not even exaggerating here. No, the you're right. You know, when I said to you, I said, look. I went, look. My hand was... I have club hands. I relax my hand. It's almost a fist. Yeah. And I take, I'm like, look at this. 
I put my hand down. It's like it opened. <laughs> I'm like, look, Long this time is relaxed. It's open. Craig's hands and feet looks like he starts his car like Fred Flintstone. Yep. You know, he's, he's just a, a fucking arthritic disaster. <laughs> CBD helped him. Yep. I think Carl's Jr. coming in and being like, yeah, that shit's so good. I'm going to put it in horsey sauce and throw it on my fucking burger. Yeah. Give me a break. I'm yeah. Like, no, okay. it's, it makes it gimmicky and bullshit. And I'm but, sure but, it doesn't work for some people. Just like any other drug doesn't work for other people. Right. But Craig, you, know? you, you had a good idea, too, on the outline. Uh, why not just come up uh, out with a, with a fucking place that just makes that kind of food all the time? Like Bud Burger. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's Craig. That's Craig. If you don't think it's coming, oh, it's coming. It's, it's coming. coming. Are it's you coming. kidding me? It's such a there's so much potential of money to be made with this that's not being you know handled now. It's it's definitely coming. It's definitely coming. But there's so it's definitely many coming. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Mike just hey, had a burger. Hey burgers, man. But the worst part is there's so many is is. Ah, uh, hold on. Go ahead, shoot. What were you going to say? Shoot. No, no, no. Go ahead, yeah. shoot. You know, you get, as, yeah, yeah. As, you do um, CBD. As ridiculous as it, as it seems that they're making this, it's not, but there's so many uninformed people out there. That's the problem. Yeah. That are enraged. They're like, oh, so now everybody's just going to get high. It's like, no, CBD does not get you high. But as it, much I've seen it. Right. They don't know. You know they what's fucked know. up? Is exact, that's exactly what Brad was saying and exactly what you're saying. By Carl's Jr. introducing CBD and, and putting 420 into the same fucking sentence, it, it skews they're actually that line. Sc- yeah. skews it big time. So you know what I mean? They're, they're like, because it's I, bad. That's bad for the fucking. For I've the, seen it. I've seen somebody that we know actually has been selling CBD. Yeah. And like through a, through a major company that does it. So he's like. Well, it's almost like a, I said, I want to laugh because I'm like, dude, you're, you're in a pyramid scheme for CBD. <laughs> <laughs> <You know? laughs> but he's been doing it. But the company that he does it for is a legitimate company that sells quality CBD oils, yep. you know, and 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 um, like tinctures and, you know, stuff you can put in your hands tinctures, and all this I stuff. Like that word. No, but, you know, and it's a legitimate company. And the thing is. As soon as he posts something, people start jumping on it like, oh, so what? Oh, just, oh, yeah, you know, I got to be baked to go to work. No, it's you're not, not going to get high. high. THC gets you high. There is zero THC in this. It's CBD. It's a different chemical compound. Yeah. It's, it's an completely inflammatory also, but too, people right? Do, but people hear weed and immediate, or, you know, marijuana or cannabis, and they immediately fucking jump. Yeah, CBD gets a bad rap. It yeah. gets thrown in the same fucking. And why is pool that? Because the Roy Rogers, because of Roy the Roy lower, Roy, exactly. mid- lower Midwest, fucking puts Just in their burger sauce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's don't not get me wrong. I'm gonna, gonna eat them. Oh, oh me too. Yeah. Yeah. But it's not helping the the cause. I mean, you know. I would love to die of a heart attack and just my final words be, but my arthritis. <laughs> more fries more fries I mean you're gonna eat munchies anyway might as well because one of the actual reactions I had to CBD I took some gummies and the gummies were amazing like they were like the best candy I've ever eaten with or without the cannabinoid yeah what is it, cannabinoid Cannab- wow cannabinoid cannabinoid thank you cannabinoid wow you corrected Can- me on a word cannab- winter uh, is now coming. I can't do it cannabinoid Definitely. I give up now Cannabinoid. I'm, I'm yeah, so, cannabinoid. Did we all hear Mike just get it. it right? It's cannabinoid. Listen, man. Who the fuck who knows what he knows? Weed? Holy yeah. shit. <laughs> who smokes pot? Yeah. All right, so let's move on. <laughs> Mike just burned a barrel in his lungs to say that one word correctly. Yeah, <laughs> I did. All right, so Carl's Jr. making CBD fucking horsey sauce is probably not the best way to go about this. And, doing, and releasing it on 420. Yeah. Like... That's kind of that's shit. The reality is, it's the, the future. Point. It's not the right way to get there. It's a setback. Right. It's All a right. setback. But there's one thing we know: Japan, the center of innovation for <laughs> most of our childhoods and most of our lives, uh, may have made a misstep this week. Yeah, uh, you know, not, not everyone in Japan is laser precise like a Seiko. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and what we learn is that also that Breaking Bad probably had more of an influence than we thought. Uh-huh. Japanese professor shows students how to make ecstasy. And it was part of a lesson oh to God. show them the, the backwards deconstruction of drugs. Yeah. I appreciate that. 
I but he d- basically gave them all a license to get fucking whacked. Yeah. yeah. I, I assumed he was just trying to teach them to make electricity. <laughs> <laughs> and, <laughs> and everybody, it was misconstrued. <laughs> I was trying to make electricity. <laughs> 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 and now everybody's up in arms, and the guy's like, "What?" <laughs> That's fucked up. <laughs> you know what? I, what I found amazing was in Japan. I don't know if this is true here, but in Japan, in, in, in schools, these instructors can apply for licenses to make. Illicit drugs as part of a lesson. Really? Yeah. So, so that's what he had one. His license had just expired. Oh, his that's license why it's had a big expired. Story. But on the on the flip side, a how lot do you of the, not renew that? License? A lot of the drugs that, that he had. <laughs> he was on ecstasy. He didn't give a fuck. A lot of the drugs he had been, <laughs> in quotes, teaching, have been unaccounted for. They can't find them. But <laughs> what got me was the bigger idea. picture. In Japan, you can get a license as a, a professor to teach students yeah. how to do this. To yeah. show them how to do it. But right. everybody in there, it was like a lab class. Yeah. They were all making it. They all didn't have licenses. No. 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 There's a the shit thing. ton of ecstasy blowing around a country that literally yeah. sells used panties and vending machines. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they don't need the ecstasy. No. <laughs> they, they make their lives out of worshiping teddy bears. Every day is cosplay play. day. Yeah. 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 No shit. Right. Japan rules. <laughs> I'm going there. <laughs> I, I want to see this university though, because like their big like pep rally is gonna be everybody just rubbing up against chairs. <laughs> yeah. <and shit>. yeah. <laughs> there's, there's, there's not a shop corner in the fucking school. <laughs> <laughs> Graduation lasts three days, and they just hand out glow sticks instead yeah. of diplomas. <laughs> fucking Mr. Kawasaki down the fucking yeah. hall. <laughs> the teacher like, kids. Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> Fucking Godzilla shows up. They start dry humping his scaly <laughs> legs. <laughs> no, that's fucked Teddy up. Teddy bear with what? big eyes wearing a robe. Yeah. <laughs> well, we sure know how to make atomic bombs, so it's a difference. <laughs> oh. <Yeah. laughs> I can imagine that fucking school, though. We showed them how they work anyway. Yeah. <laughs> they, 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 re- they reverse engineered it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, guys, check this out. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so the explosion comes, and wait a minute. Uh, and then everybody backwards. in this class is like, oh, this crater feels amazing. <laughs> oh, the air is so warm. Okay, I want to throw out one shout to Mike for thinking that all Asians are the same. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Well, Mike's only not. one comment on this article, because we have an outline, and we all have bullet points. Like and that. Mike goes, that's bad, but Mrs. Chen next door in Home Ec. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to give everybody a second to wait a process minute. this wait one. A minute. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. No, he's talking about Home Ec. I, I get it. But no, it's... I'm talking, no, he's talking about, about Chen. Oh, okay. <laughs> But home ec was the problem. No, 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 home ec <laughs> is the bad thing in this sentence, isn't it? He's like, oh, I spelled ec wrong. No. Uh, and incidentally, he also spelled ec wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but basically, Mrs. Chen, the Japanese national, was in, in home ec class teaching her kids to make crotchless panties. We have seven days to do this out <laughs> Yeah, I wrote that seven this morning. Fucking days. <laughs> Mike's big research for the week is that all Asians are the same. Yeah. <laughs> well done, pal. He did get Mr. Kawasaki yeah, I got wrong. Kawasaki. But it was only because there's also a motorcycle with that same all name. Right, yeah. yeah. So cool. I'm amazed with all the bomb jokes you didn't make, Mr. Nagasaki. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Oh, shit. All right. So I fucked that one all up. All anyway. right. Well, let's get on to somebody else that's really Wait, Chen, fucked Chen's up. Chinese. Let's talk yeah. about the long-term effects of drugs. The long-term effects of <laughs> I drugs. I think you just saw that. Basically, <laughs> you just saw I the think this guy <laughs> took a class on this 50 years ago. Right. But, oh. I think he was taking Japanese science class, like <laughs> Pharmaceutical University, okay, when he was there on tour. But we got to give a shout-out to the late, great Joe Perry. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of pharmaceuticals. The late great. Well, because the current Joe Perry, not so great. How about just late? Yeah. Yeah. Well, he was late getting there, I'm sure. Oh, my God. He's, 
I he's if he makes it through this year, he's my first round pick. He is actually <laughs> on my list. I already picked him this year. Did you? So yeah. we're shooting by like New Year's Eve. Like Ooh, Joe's got to go. He's a fucking disaster. He's gonna pop it on fucking New Year's. You want to bet? All right. So just to, to get catch everybody up, there was uh, Aerosmith is doing a residency in Vegas because that's yeah. what you do now when you don't feel like touring. You move all your shit to Vegas. Vegas and just and do so, a couple of shows a week. And well, yeah, tons that's of great. Drugs. When you take a bunch Drink. of drug addicts. What better city than Las Vegas? Yeah, than right. That? Yeah, you just play the dinner crowd at three p.m. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> fucking old early really bird special. He's, he's <laughs> also calling out numbers and bingo yeah. in between songs. <laughs> That's Steven right. Tyler has time, taken time off from making the Hocus Pocus sequel. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I just think it's great uh, though. Like you double down on like fucking five, <laughs> and he just starts playing "Living on the Edge." Dun, dun, yeah. Dun, dun. Uh, yeah, Joe Perry and Aerosmith are in Vegas, and it's sad to watch. I mean, Steven yeah, Tyler is old and grandmotherly, and he's got tits, and it's hard to look at him. But Joe Perry, we always thought was the yeah. one that came out of the addiction a little bit better. Yeah, yeah. We were so fucking wrong. Right. It, Go ahead. I'm sorry. Well, no, just Joe aged. PR, Joe aged man. badly. PR is a big. What, and I, it's funny that I sang that song because that's exactly what they were trying to play on stage this week. Somebody in the front row with the camera, instead of enjoying the concert like a fucking normal person, decided to start oh. filming Joe Perry and he forgot every chord. Every that's terrible, one. Man. Missed every yeah. note. Right. And and Steven Tyler started singing for behind the drum riser. Yeah. Because he's like, well, we got to get the song going because Joe can't yeah. get the riff going. And then immediately pulled to Vince Neil. And, and stuck the microphone in the crowd because they were all fucked up. Yeah. How about it? Maybe it's not drugs. Maybe it's Alzheimer's. It What's could be. Alzheimer's? Hey, old timers, Alzheimer's, <laughs> old timers, old timers, old timers. Old -timers. Old -timers. Dr. Chen. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm from Japan. It's probably it's probably <laughs> it's probably not drugs. Wait, Hold Chen is Chinese, Kawasaki. right? <laughs> Chen is Chinese, right? A little bit. Okay. Right. <laughs> At least Steven Tyler still kind of sounds like Steven Tyler. Yeah. yeah. Like you hear his voice. He's got one of those voices. You hear, you, you know who he is. I just feel bad for the other two guys in the band. Like, what the fuck? No right. shit, yeah. man. <laughs> Goddamn. It's my wife and I, were when we were driving down to Philly, we were talking about Steven Tyler. We had Aerosmith playing in the car, and we were playing like Toys in the Attic. Yep. And the kids were like. Good album. Yeah, good yeah. album. The kids so, were jamming on it. And I'm like, you know, I think cocaine actually made Steven Tyler's voice better. Yeah. Because yep. he got that raspiness that he had in the '80s, that's more, you know, reflective of what he is. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, maybe drugs help Stephen Tyler because <laughs> he got on American Idol. Joe Perry just developed a really bad Fu Manchu mustache, and that's yeah. China. He's yeah. colla oh, he's, he's collapsed okay. on stage more than once. Yep. Yeah, I think he's dying. Yeah, I think he's dying. But they, they were trying to make excuses. Somebody gave him a left-handed guitar. Nobody in Aerosmith is left-handed. No. No. The drummer might be, but I'm pretty sure he's not bringing his guitars up on tour with him. What a bullshit excuse. Joe Perry is sick, and he is dying. Don't do drugs. They're bad for you. He didn't realize the second he got the guitar, he went, hey, this is the left hand of the guitar. Yeah. He, couldn't, know, it, he couldn't start a song, get catch one up, get in the middle of it. Nothing. nothing. It was a shit show. And That's I guarantee terrible. you that wasn't the only time. I There's a reason that person started filming just him. I can't fucking yeah. stand them yeah, anyway. Yeah, exactly. And that's why I can't wait for the fucking... Joe Perry Vince Neil collaboration. <laughs> <laughs> this sounds like a bunch of wild animals in a room full of pots and pans. Living on a pizza. <laughs> What's the name of the tour? Huh? Huh? What? It's, <laughs> it's just it, fuck, it, fuck It's him. just two competing heart monitors. <laughs> <laughs> and a breathing machine to keep the rhythm. Both of them recording the microphone at each other, trying yeah. to get the other one to sing. Yeah. <laughs> Here's our new hit. <laughs> 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 no, you know what I think happened? They actually showed a video later in the show, and they were playing, ironically enough, Toys in the Attic. And he was right on it. He was like, but I think he had a lapse. Yeah. And I think when you can't remember the 90s, bad yeah. shit has happened. Because that's, that's when it came out. You know, yeah, but Toys in the Attic's probably so ingrained in his fucking head. Yeah. Because he'd been playing it for almost 50 years. Now, it yeah. happens. Like, it, we, we joke about Vince Neil and. and, and Oh, you know, those, no, oh, we yeah. don't. But plenty of I'm sure plenty of singers have had that moment where they get into a song and they forget it. They forget like yeah, yeah they, they yeah, might lose. Where and that's why you, you throw it out to the crowd and that sort of shit. They're per, you know they're what I mean? Performing, they're like I've done this a billion times. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. but but when you're talking about the lead guitarist in a band who's been playing this music, these songs for 
every fucking day. Twenty years at this point. Thirty fucking the 90s, years, right? Yeah, oh, th- almost thirty. Almost thirty. Almost 30. 30 it's, fucking years. It, it Living on the Edge was what ninety two. Yeah, it, it should be yeah. that easily Terminated forgettable. Too. Armageddon. It sucks. It sucks. So yeah, was it he Armageddon? did Armageddon. Did Armageddon? Yeah. And then, and that was fucking twenty something years ago. No, easily twenty six years ago. Yeah. And that was that and was also the start of that the, was like, the same album. Pop correct? Rock. Was that was that the same album? I As, think it was the same time. I don't think it was on the album. They did the. Um, don't want to miss a thing for that one. Yeah, yeah. that yeah, was the yeah. big love song and all that. Yeah. But the, you know, the, my favorite Saturday Night Live skit of the '90s was Aerosmith's greatest hits of '93 to '96, <laughs> yeah. and it was just crying crazy and amazing, all yeah. put together in a row. So it was like, yeah, crying crazy, amazing, crying crazy, crazy amazing, crying crazy, amazing, crazy. <laughs> they were, and they were, all, the same, they were yeah. all the same song, and they made the same fucking video with Alicia Silverstone and his his daughter Liv Tyler. Yeah, same. It was Live. like the same thing over and over again. Just for the record, uh, you want to talk Game of Thrones? He boned his daughter. That uh, that happened in real life. You think so? Uh, absolutely. Even the fat one? Well, probably Even she had to be there one. to keep her mouth shut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, to include it was her. Stuffed with something. <laughs> Man, I I know you guys love Aerosmith, but Smith, but I could nobody not here loves care yeah. fucking no. less if they all died yesterday they've had some very iconic recognizable songs yeah, yeah, yeah they did there's well, a few songs especially from the 80s the most you'll iconic hear, you're like Sh- fucking Aerosmith them fucking Run yeah. DMC the collaboration between them and Run that DMC was, a, was a huge fucking deal that was, that's one of those that, things we've talked about Mike a, where, where, where a game changer in music that's what I was gonna say yeah. it's like it may not have been the best song but it changed where things went right yeah and you, we've talked about it. There are bands that, that have changed music that you don't have to like. They were yeah, shitty right. Rolling Stones, and the Rolling Stones were also shitty. Yeah. The end. <laughs> they, at least, yep. Hey. Agree with you on They're not the Beach Boys, though. Fuck the... Oh, <laughs> you could not Craig name loves three bands in a Boys. row that I fucking cold, want brother. to see fall You're off cold. the flat earth. <laughs> right now. He wants them to be the beach, the beach I boys. I would love to watch that though. Like watch the Rolling Stones and Aerosmith all in their like seventies rocker dude, and then a bunch of guys in polo shirts. Yeah. <laughs> Do the you love me, boys. surfer girl? Boop. Yeah. <laughs> oh, My favorite Beach Boys lyric was their Christmas song, like "Christmas comes this time each year." Yeah. No shit. My favorite Beach Boys That's lyric favorite too. was the the opening line to the eulogy for fucking <laughs> what's his name? <laughs> yeah. yeah. What's his name? Fucking they all Ron died Ron. grabbing their chest. Help me, yeah. Rhonda. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I fucking never man. hated a band so much. <laughs> Holy even, fucking crap. Even with Stamos pretending to be part of the band? Fuck. I know. Remember that? Oh, that my God. What the him. fuck was that all about? <laughs> he, he took a break from Jesse and the I Rippers. Li- I, liked, I liked him until he did that. <laughs> then I was like, oh, no, he's out. His fake yeah. bongo playing in the he's background of that video. Yeah. Yeah. This pink no fucking cut off shirt, no mic on him. And I was pissed because he ruined that shirt that I have in my closet still. I can't yeah. wear it anymore. <laughs> I actually think Kokomo's a rapey song, too. It's like Aruba, Jamaica. Oh, I want to take you to Bermuda, Bahamas. Come on, pretty mama. He's like, let's just get the fuck out of the United States where I can be prosecuted. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Preferably somewhere Montego. where there's no uh... <laughs> Baby why don't we go <laughs> Right now Melissa's at home Flipping through her passport like son of a bitch <laughs> <laughs> Drink this fast and we'll get there Slow <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> R. Kelly's pissed too <laughs> uh, Fuck, fuck. Oh, Alright fuck this noise This has been Another weird episode Yeah yeah, Mama can we get we the did. fuck off this crap and do some fucking? Oh, uh, do some did fucking you make a Mama Kin joke? You did. He did. did. Aerosmith's dad I joke. Had to. Yeah, you did. Sorry, man. That's They're pretty. No, nah, we did. A, we did a lot of. I'm not a dad, and I hate. We, had, we went off. We got a little serious. Not serious, but we went a little more like on the uh, nerdy entertainment pop culture side than we normally do. Yeah, and Current Atl- things that were happening this week. Yeah. That was the thing. The Atlantic Ocean was a little wet this week. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but you know what? Before we go to doing the uh, um, housekeeping, okay. I want to say, speaking of pop culture, crazy shit, Friends of the Show, they've been on before, is the, uh, the Chuck and Brad podcast, are doing a tour right now with their comedy act. And now me and Brad have seen the previous ones, the back to the future one and other things. And they were funny. 
they do an interesting something thing. very very original. It's very original. They're basically stand up comics and improv guys. For those of yeah. you who didn't hear that episode, and by the way, go back in the archives and listen to our shit. I'm telling you, Chuck and Brad, yep. we did an easy three hours that night. Yeah. Um, what they do is they take, I believe it's Brad's drawings or is it Chuck's? Drawings? It's Brad's drawings. Brad's Fun. drawings, and then what they do is he they, can't draw. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he draws the worst line figures you've ever seen. Yeah, <laughs> and then what he does is they put them on like PowerPoint, and then they go and retell the movie with some pieces of dialogue. He using does a his storyboard. Oh my he basically God, does a storyboard great. of the movie, and Chuck writes the dialogue according to Based his on those story. stick figures. But the and best part is they fun. never show each other what's up <laughs> and it's fucking hilarious so they did a great job with it yeah they're friends of ours and this sounds like weird podcast nepotism but that's not no. what it is we're promoting this as fans of comedy no because it was it was funny we went me and brad went and seen it and we laughed in his, yeah. so in his friends right in his friends they're later, fucking cool guys friends. man yeah. sooner or later we need something funny on this show yeah right no well, bringing but, you uh, in didn't fucking work <laughs> but they got <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just kidding, brother. But they, they got some. They got some shows coming up. They're actually going on tour with for the Avengers weekend. Nice with the Avengers Endgame, and they're gonna retell oh, the Avengers, so the original idea. Avengers, the movie. Avenger, the original that's Avengers. Awesome, that's awesome. killer. Idea. But they're good. They got and, a uh, great room in New York. They're in Hartford, Connecticut, and I'm missing one. Yep. Yeah. Uh, well, we'll let them tell you. And this is Chuck from the Chuck and Brad Show. Let them tell you right nice. here. Hey guys, we're Chuck and Brad. We're two comedians who do the Chuck and Brad podcast, a pop culture podcast based out of Rhode Island. We just wanted to let you know that we're going on a short comedy tour called Chuck and Brad Reimagine the Avengers. It's our own comedic retelling of the original Avengers movie, and we're touring the shows the same weekend that Avengers Endgame comes out. So come get a refresher and a new spin on the original Avengers movie before you go see Endgame. Thursday, April 25th, we'll be in Hartford, Connecticut at the CT Comedy Theater with B.J. Quagan, Andrew Morgan, and Stosh Makita. Saturday, April 27th, we'll be in New York City at the Pit Loft with Impractical Jokers tour opener Jiggy, Impractical Jokers writer Casey Jost, and UCB veteran Lisa Kleinman. Sunday, April 28th, we'll be at Laugh Boston with John Tilson, Logan O'Brien, Tyler Swain, and Dan Hall. All event info and tickets at chuckandbradpodcast.com. So come on out. Support this very weird live comedy show, and hopefully more and more podcasts will start doing their own live alternative shows. Once again, that's Chuck and Brad Reimagine the Avengers, New York City, Hartford, and Boston. See you at the end of the month. ChuckandBradPodcast.com. All right, and that's it. There's, that's where those guys are Perfect. Be. If you're in the area, go see it. You won't be disappointed. Definitely. Look them up. Get definitely there. funny. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, Chuck and Brad, you know, this settles up the debt we owe you. Yeah. yeah, no doubt. Huh? <laughs> At this point, if you don't invite us on your show soon, there will be no more free fucking promos. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, I just wanted that out there too. Yeah. No. All right. Anyway, so a little bit of housekeeping. We don't have much because we no longer have a t-shirt provider. Yep. The, the two shipments that are still not arrived at my house but, uh, represent the last two that we will get from teespring.com. Uh, but we've got some old T-shirts that are being transferred over, some new ones on the way because, Dave, I'm welcoming you in with a Game of Thrones T-shirt. Yes. Nice. Nice. It's going to be come, and it's the cholesterol is coming. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's just no. our three faces being enveloped by no, Mike. No, no, no. I want we nothing can... to do with this. It's oh. <laughs> we, could just, we could just sell the old shirts and sell freaking stickers of your face and just slap them right on there, you know? <laughs> Fuck it. But let's let's finish this thing off. Finish, finish the housekeeping. Let's get this done. Mm -hmm. You know what? I have nothing else to say. How could I follow Mike? Right? Craig, take us out. Needless to say, we said it.